Essendon fullback Robin close to kick off. He's going defensive too, kicking towards this dead pocket. Crows there, but he's not holding the ball well. South Melbourne knock it away, picked up by Goss. He's got an acre of room to move in there, but uh, close moving back. And somehow, and some, somewhere, Teasdale came in and just jumped in front of Robin Close, who looked as though he had that one sewn up. A little struggling football at the moment. Tapped along, picked up now by Mansfield, who puts Eston back into attack. A front position leader, that's a good mark. Scoops it out in the direction of Jackson. Jackson beautifully shepherded for by Hodges. And South Melbourne in attack again. Andrews from behind as Dean. Dean of beauty at centre half forward. Almost within scoring distance, but he's looking for that very reliable full forward Teasdale, who has the climb now. Gets the front position. Ellen goes up. So too does Close. And Close scouting the pack well to Birdes. Bird it the chance now to clear. Steadying kick to Scanlon. Scanlon all dispossessed by two South Melbourne players. Nobody there to back up. And Bryce sweeps it away to Teasdale, who has the climb again, but didn't uh, elect to go for the ball goal it was who stayed down Goss now Goss squares it in towards centre half forward Zanta beautifully judged during the second quarter Madden gets up knocked away out there to the waiting arms there of Danaher but it swings off the pack knocked back again South Melbourne little player Goss gets in the thick of things a quick look at goal onto his right right foot he's a left footer and he's front foot of the goal that's a great goal from Norm Goss Ellen from behind against Goodingham, it comes out to Young, the hand pass to Clark, to Boyd, as good teamwork by Essendon, seldom seen today, looking for Folds, it's beyond him, now to Folds, Folds lines up and he's got to As they come into attack, taken away by O'Neill, the centre half back, back it goes towards Sir Barry Round, who takes a clever mark, hand passes in field to Goss, Goss into the goal square, two man duel again, Teasdale and Close, off hands, it's rolled through, and it's a goal. Wayne Richardson, half back line, kicks into the breeze out towards centre wing. In comes Carmen, a long way down the ground, hotly pursued by Ick, well tackled Ick. Carmen won't give up either. Oh, a very strong one by Bryce. And Carmen took it beautifully, and Carmen takes the free. The Cormac to shoot for goal, 35 to 40 metres out, not a good kick. Gumbledon goes the punch down, picked up nicely there by Henshaw. A dangerous kick to Shaw. Shaw gets his foot to it, and it's touched, picked up again by Ramsey. Ramsey out wide. Max Richardson playing a great game in the centre, if you can call the centre where he wanders far and wide. Short pass. Beautiful lead by Greg. Schimmelbush. And a big leap down there, and the mark has been taken in defence for Collingwood. Um, by Betts. Bet. Chance now for Collingwood. Weirmouth. Shaw. Oh, fumbles it when 35 metres from goal. Another chance for Shaw. Into the goal square. They set themselves. Dench a good mark. Dench up towards halfback and the mark taken by Cable. Long handball by Cable. Finds Keith Gregg unattended on the wing. Gordon in pursuit. Greg goes one way, then the other, gets around Gordon. Good football by the Brownlow medalist. Up towards half forward, a very high kick into the breeze. Close to the boundary line. And finally out of play, while Croswell and Picken aren't the best of friends. Centre half back. Over the centre of the ground, Picken and Baker. Punched on by Baker. Melrose, Baker. A handball with Croswell. A bad handball out to Schimmelbush. Allows... Collingwood in through Betts. Heavy defensive work being put in there by... Uh, and suck off the goal by Melbourne's Jimmy Bush. Around centre-half back. Good long kick down to centre-half forward, looking for Carmen. Carmen doesn't go this time. Picked up behind the pack by Montgomery. Montgomery out in the Greg Gordon. Oh, beautiful mark. Keith Gregg, who's been battered and hammered throughout the match. Out points Gordon. Gordon, six foot three of them, is a winger. A player with a great future. Out one. We throw in. Thompson nudges Moore in the back. And the free kick goes to Terry Moore. Well, Thompson hasn't had too many free kicks against him today in the ruck. He's been dominant in that position today. A lot of infringements by Nolan against him. Moore's kick up towards the forward pocket. A huge leap at the back by Croswell. 
great mark, Brent Croswell. In comes Nolan and Thompson. Mal Blight's the one who hits it down. Thompson, beautifully done, been a magnificent player all day. Well played, Tanner. Out it goes to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush has got the chance to go for the run. A dangerous hand pass. And Breiders flums it. Schimmelbush will shoot for goal and put it through. What a spectacular solo effort by Schimmelbush. Wayne Schimmelbush playing his 100th game. And there's been 100 games of class for this. selected and these will come into hand very shortly Scott dominating the ruck because he's playing in front but it's wood for Richmond who gets it smothered by Lee Matthews and the players are inching that ball around the members side of the stand it's just between the wing and the half forward line as Bob Hurd got his hand to it that was uh, Tuck getting the kick away Martello's had a fit of the fumbles at the moment running through home crashing his way through screwing it back over Hudson in front position he's got it Seven minutes gone at the MCG. Hawthorne, one, two. Richmond yet to score. The throw in, Scott in ruck, up against Hurd. The ball comes to ground. Scott elbows Hurd out of the way. Play on, said the umpire. The ball under a pack, and umpire Harvey Lyons comes in and will ball it up. Forward set a half forward, a big leap down there by Matthews, no mark. Reigns for Richmond, gets a handball out under pressure. Royce Hart can't bend down and pick it up. Very scrappy football, finally picked up by Petura, but Kevin Sheedy gets the free kick for Richmond. And there's a blue behind play. Royce Hart, six kicks for Richmond in the first quarter. Bartlett for Richmond. Long kick just off line. And a great mark has been taken down there by Neil Barn. Over the last couple of years. Knocked away by Malthouse, who's playing a great game. Certainly Richmond are getting the benefit of his best football since he came across for St Kilda. That was Carter with a beautiful pass right down the throat of Petura. Petura doing well. I think he enjoys his position playing in the centre, covering a lot of ground as he rakes that kick down towards Brian Wood. Beautiful placement. Wood with an open goal, let's go, drop it right through for a point. To Hawthorne, one bounce and a drop kick, out of half back up towards the centre of the ground, Goad was there, Bartlett in front of him, Bartlett held when not in possession and gets the free kick. Bartlett from the centre circle, inside of half forward, Herds there again with Walter, a big leap at the back by O'Halloran, it's picked up now by Lamb, one bounce into the goal square and Lamb kicks truly. Left centre wing, punched in field, chance for uh, Martello. Martello's kick up towards half forward. Jenkinson punches away from Hudson. Goad near the centre circle, ridden into the ground. Play on, said the umpire. It's picked up by Richmond's reins. He finds Carter unmarked at half forward. Carter can score from here. He lines up the goals and shoots. Great goal by Richmond. Oh, Helen got it away. This is range for Richmond. Richmond have it on a string, up to full forward, knocked away, picked up quickly by Scrimshaw into an open goal! Deep in front by Hendry, no mark taken, handball out by Richmond, finally it's Matthews, great chance to score, Lee Matthews, his third goal. Quarter because the first quarter lead was good, hurt the battle, they combine once more, tremendous combination these two, Kelvin Matthews sort of swipes it away, Robert Lamb picks up, Gets it on the side of his boot and drops it through. Playing on the wing. Brings it straight down towards Alan Edwards. Oh, clever mark. By gee, that was a good mark. Grass high. And Manane for Hawthorne. Or Goad. Spills the mark. It was Manane. Up towards half forward. McGee. Oh, through him to Hendry. Hendry, a much improved player in the third quarter. McGee in pursuit, Hendry kicks for goals and has scored a goal. A great kick by... Go and tuck, but it's all Richmond as Petura spins in and spins out. McGee on all fours. Monteith with a very poor attempt to tackle then. Goad gets it away for Hawthorne. Abbott onto his boot. Up towards Lee Matthews, a bit short for the opposition, but he's got it. Great mark. There's a lay down Mazer there, one out the game for the ball. Double hands it towards uh, Matthews. Martello playing a great game in the second half. 
drives the ball straight up the full forward, the flying mark attempted by Hendry. Hudson's kicked uh, three goals, gets it, swings around, unselfish it, go, opens up, straight through. Third and Scott in ruck. Scott to the back of the pack, goes to Lamb, kicks into a player, heard a handball to Bartlett, Bartlett shoots for goal from Richmond and puts it through. Five and a half minute mark final quarter, Balm and Scott. Balm taps down to Bartlett, Bartlett's going to get another kick here, up towards half forward, Wood unmarked. Steady's down for Richmond. Gets around Moncrief, can shoot for goal now. Wood, a great looking kick. It's a goal! He didn't line up on the forward line at all, and has played pretty well, particularly the first half. A quiet second quarter, but he's back in business in this last quarter. Trying to find Edwards, great mark. Scott in front position, taps down towards Ede, who punches further afield to Lee Matthews. Chance for Hawthorne. Matthews finds a player unmarked. The mark is taken, and handball to Hudson, and Hudson puts it through. Hudson's fifth goal, and a clever handball by Rice, who's come onto the ground in the last minute of play. Peter Hudson's fifth, and Hawthorne have a break. They lead by nine points. Hawthorne lead by four points. Jess. Well, now it's Edwards. Edwards cornered. He gets caught. Handball's away. Royce Hart. A big leap in the back by Jess. And that could be the match winner. A great mark by Jess. Richmond trail by four points. And Jess has this kick for goal from right in front from 20 metres out. What a sensation he's been since he came on the ground. Kick two goals. A straight kick will put Richmond in front. Jim Jess. It's a point. No, it's a goal. Well, the goal umpire signaled point at first and then gave it two flags and Richmond are in front. Desperation. Hawthorne, one kick, they can win it. Knocked away there by Baum. Knocked through for point. <laughs> Richmond have won it by one point. One point, the Tigers have come home. What a fantastic match. The scoreboard. Richmond, 19-6. That's 120. Hawthorne, 17-17, 119. A classic at the MCG. South Melbourne 4-4, four, four, Richmond 2-2. Two, two. Bartlett, in towards centre half forward, looking for Edwards. Just behind, all was attached. I don't know where it was. It was. It'll be taken by Brian Wood. He goes across the half back line, dummies the hand pass. In towards centre half forward, Jess, half volley. Well done to keep under, the ball under control. Oh, he got the wrong man. It was meant for Browning. Jess got it. Punched away by Jackson. Malthouse. Across to Dixon. It may be a goal. It is. 4.40. South Melbourne 5, 5.35. Richmond are taking the game away from South Melbourne in this uh, second quarter. South haven't kicked the goal. In fact, all they've managed is a point. Richmond have put it three goals. And they're into attack again. Marked by Jess. Once he gets his hands on it, he's unbeatable. And he's certainly doing more for his side at full forward than Teasdale. Four marks he's taken. And that pass has found uh, uh, Wayne Walsh. Walsh playing on the wing. Uh, Richmond are moving players all over the ground. They really confuse South Melbourne in this match. From 30 metres out, it's a long kick and it's finding its way through for six points. But Richmond coming out of it OK. The handball quickly along towards young uh, Hummel. The man in front is uh, Morrison. who was rolling the wrong way and he threw it across the line. And the free kick going to Richmond. And Richmond leading by... 14 points. There's Hummel's kick. Oh, oh. Don't tell me he's got it. He has indeed. 
That's a super goal for John Hunnell. Uh, that's his second. Anyway, it's uh, Footscray through Geeshan to almost the centre forward position. Fists up, Austin at the back. The hand pass straight to uh, Footscray's Collins. He's dispossessed and uh, unmercifully at that. Picked up uh, by Miller. The long hand pass, and away go Fitzroy. A good uh, 10 metres. This is um, Allen. Allen with the left foot going goalwards, and well and truly. Beautiful kick to the line. Up goes Alexander. Behind was McMahon. Recovers better than anybody. Taken away from him by Hampshire. Hampshire tackle. Back to McMahon. Great play. Across in the Murphy direction. Murphy lets Linton go for it. Across to Murphy this time. Hits it back cleverly to Park. Park shoots for goal. And this is converted. Well, that was a dazzling. Gishin out wide to Collins. The racehorse. Off he goes. Away from Greg Park who can give up. Allen comes across with a very high elbow. Straight down to the centre. In front, your chance fullback. Oh, so Carter who's gone out there. Oh, lovely pick up by Jennings. A short pass. And beautifully intercepted. Driven by Miller. Down towards Thompson. Nice mark too. The left footer gets on and a great hand pass to Murphy. Murphy's got time to steady and send a long one out wide to Serafini. Serafini takes the mark. Serafini shoots for goal. Good kick, Serafini. Alexander and Dempsey. Alexander number six for Fitzroy. Dempsey number 24 coming through. Shepard over the shoulder. And uh, there's confidence for you. Alexander fakes one way and goes the other back to Irwin. Irwin the left foot. Brilliantly to Greg Park. Lee Croffin behind again, but it's punched out to Linton. Throws it away from him, catches it on the rebound, straightens up. Centre wing in front of the members stand. 33 Hawthorne, Geelong 19. Henry going past. Squares it in towards full forward, looking for Jones now, who has to use what pace he has. He gathered it in well. Hand passes to Hudson. Hudson being tagged by the leg. Newman falls to the ground. Hudson did it very badly then. Ian Van Curvis out to Mark Brown and finds Harvey Davis about half back flank on the outer side. And a 15 metre penalty this time against Barry Rollings. Players on. David Clark into the centre, knocked away from Sheehan by Welsh. Big Manson, hand passes to no one. Ablett, gathered up quickly by Neil. Good play, he harassed that player all the while. Good football by McGillivray, lets Sheehan in. And Sheehan has Landy out in the half forward line, and Sheehan is down. Good football, Terry Bright. Ball with umpire Nash in the centre. Bounces down. Manson for Geelong, beaten by Martello. Hawkins to half forward. Welsh leads in the race, tries to soccer the ball forward, chance for Sarah, by onset the umpire, intercepted by Kelvin Matthews, to half forward, Hendry, and a good leap down there by Nan Curvis. Hawkins having trouble picking it up, the ball rather slippery after the rain at half time, Landy to full forward, Donahue in front. Great mark by Larry Donahue. Three Hawthorns along 41 as rain starts again at Cadinia Park, Alan Goad. The hand pass over the top to Bernie Jones. Jones has nowhere to go to Hudson. Great goal coming up by Hudson. It's through. Beautiful goal, fourth to Hudson, four goals, three, and good football, Bernie Jones. Now the margin, three goals. He has Martello at centre half forward. The kick in his direction, a bit too much carry. Big leap at the back by Hendry, no mark. It comes to Tuck. Tuck moves Hawthorne forward to full forward, uh, but back there is um, Nan Curvis, and Nan Curvis takes the mark. Ian Nan Curvis, half back, out towards right centre wing. Manson's there. Big leap by Turner. Great mark. And he's been a dominant player on. Two. Bartlett, in towards centre half forward, looking for Edwards. Just behind, or was it? With it was. It was.
We'll uh, look for Mangels over there in the forward pocket and find him. No, uh, here's McKenna in there. He's going to be caught. Gets the hand pass out in the direction of the Mangels tuck direction. Mangels caught, swings into the goal mouth. Jones, Peter Jones, in the midst of a forest of arms and legs. Heath kicking off for Carlton. Jones, big hand in there. Jezelenko, do we work dual? Oh, nicely played to Byrne. Good cooperation there. Byrne looking for McClure. McClure on his own must mark. They say Robert Walls, uh, South, Southcan it is. Perhaps he goes McClure with the left foot this time, he thinks. Into the McKenna direction. McKenna kicks off the ground and through. It's going to drop short to McKenna. No, he didn't get there on the second bite. He's still got it. Shepard through by Walls. Required by Walls. And it is. Mackay. No, the man in front. Tuck. No, Mackay. Ooh. Well, they played 24 minutes in this term. Hawthorne lead by 13 points, and Carlton are trying to get that ball past their half forward line. Walls thumped away by O'Halloran. Goes out to burn out. Oh! Oh, oh no, did you see elbow. that? Well, I couldn't say anything about that. You saw it. Completely unfair, and he's just, uh, wobbling like an old camel. Still Martello. Moncrief for Hawthorne, and away they go again. They've got this one well and truly wrapped up with a 13-point lead. Lee Matthews and Duell. They bounce to Rollings, to Henry. Lee Matthews, oh! and down he goes. Thank you very much indeed. Down towards the back pocket, in fact. Up towards centre wing. Green again with Merrigan. Green! Fitzroy 3-5, St Kilda 1 goal 6. Four and a half minutes of time on. Austin and Saru to the back of the pack. O'Keefe. Callery now to full forward. Hunt's down there with Alexander. At the back, Green. And it's a goal by Green. Saru and Austin. Saru wins the tap, but gets it straight down to Wilson and Fitzroy. The free kick went to Austin. Back to Wilson. Wilson's kick to full forward. Herovic in front, Beecroft. Off hands to Alexander. And the Park. And now a chance for uh, Fitzroy. And a hurry kick for goal by McLeod. Fitzroy get it out of the pack towards half forward. A one against one duel, and the mark taken by Russell Green. A play on through uh, Saru to left centre wing, and Carter, or rather it's Bell. Bell to half forward. Or oh, Austin drops a mark. George Young this time on his left, left foot. Hunt is in the goal square, takes the mark, plays on. Another goal to Rex Hunt. Brown towards the centre of the ground. Alexander in front. Saru, good mark. Nudged Alexander out of the way. Elliott towards centre half forward. George Young. To Green. Up towards half forward. Stevens is there. Bad bounce beats him. Chance for Callery now. Runs onto the ball. Open shot for goal. Callery. Near the centre of the ground. Oh, shocking. Hits the man on the mark. Alexander goes through. Gets caught. Handball is quick. Picked up now by uh, Carter. Across to Saru. He does it easily to Hughes. The man running through is coming. He's on one leg as he picks up. Uses the handball to Green. Green's caught. Keeps his balance to Curry. Elliott calls for it. Elliott gives it to Green. Green 20 metres outside. Step steady. Shoots. Beautiful. Schimmelbush. Montgomery. Good looking hand pass. A bit slow as it's fumbled. Melrose. Back it goes. Across it this time to Kelton. Kelton out wide to Casson. Casson's got the chance to steady. Gets a hand pass across to Baker and straight into Cross for standing on. North Melbourne far more desperate for the ball. A hand pass from Casson finds Schimmelbush at half forward. Long kick by Schimmelbush. It could be North Melbourne's seventh goal within 30 seconds of the second term beginning. Well, he's a long way out of territory. Well, he's opponent up. Downfield it goes where it's going to be Baker the leap at Standland's behind. Croswell cleverly to Casson. Casson a left foot snap. Is touched through or is it Munro to centre half forward. Welsh, beautiful man. Peter Welsh had the ride. Long way short of centre half forward though. He finds that position. Up behind was Gumbleton. Oh, Half-hearted attempt by Perussi. Gets it instead. Ends up with a chain of hand pass to Keith Gregg. Up to Moore. Moore has Casson behind him. But sends it back to uh, Gregg. This is brilliant football, North Melbourne. Keith Gregg lining up for North Melbourne's 12th and he's offline into the square. Roswell! 
receives the free kick. Did it well, Ted Whitten, to centre half forward now. Looking for Munro again. Munro underneath the ball. Two North Melbourne defenders. Templeton gathers over to Stoneham. Stoneham from 25 metres. He can get it to low. And low goes into the open goal. And he's put it through. Nolan. Oh, shark by Jennings away from Schimmelbush. A dazzling pass. And Templeton takes it on a step well, Templeton has really been starved for opportunities and uh, he's up against a magnificent fullback. That's his second kick. His one kick was a great goal from a very similar position. Slightly more angle, the first one. But Kelvin Templeton comes in, he kicks long distances. This is a perfect kick. A magnificent kick straight through. Greg. This is more like a Greg kick. A good 60 metre one down. Looking for Gumbleton. Welsh the leap, but Gumbleton... Great judgment by... Frank Gumbel. Oh, it's not a bad kick by Walls. It'll be right on the line. Oh, oh, oh. Doing everything right at the moment. This is Miller for Fitzroy. Ducking and weaving. Caught trouble. The handball's... Uh, Unglued here, Warrigo and a quick shot for goal. Looks good. Fabulous goal. by Southcombe. Southcombe down towards centre half forward. Good leap by McClure. Out to Francis Jackson. Jackson down to that centre half forward zone. David Mackay will be the leaper and does it, does it in superb fashion. It's David Mackay. Bull steadies and kicks to an open half forward flank. Buckley comes out. McLeish with him. Walls takes him on. Buckley to Walls as clever football. Walls will have a shot for goal. And Robert Walls puts it through. Carlton are three goals, South Melbourne 1-1. One, one. Fourth kick for Bryce. Towards full forward. Teasdale in front. Good mark. McConnon runs onto the ball. Straight upfield. McConnon to full forward. McClure is down there for a big leap. Much away from him. Fumbles by Mangles. McKenna. Oh, he hasn't got time to put his boot to the ball. And it's gone through for a goal. And the umpire rules a goal. Second goal to McKenna, which appeared to be after the siren. Danaher, got the touch of the fumbles. Hounsell comes clear. Long handball to Bryce. Browning would go straighter upfield to Dean. Now Browning, shot for goal by Browning, is true. Austin, straight up the centre of the ground, almost in the centre circle. Pennell, good mark. Out wide to McConnell. Or rather, it's Byrne. Byrne to full forward. McKenna well placed. Good mark. Carlton gets Carlton out of trouble. And the mark taken. Oh, dropped. Half forward flank. Chance for Evans to atone. Again, back to full forward. Goodingham's down there with height. And a great mark by Teasdale. Coming in is Blair. Hand pass across to Edmund, who's. Uh, it's about his third or fourth kick this quarter, the young half-forward flanker. Nicely done by Quinlan. In towards uh, Witten. An open goal, and he's put it in. Member side wing. He breaks clear. Everyone flat-footed. No, Hunt's got the lead. Can't get there. Young does it beautifully for Duperuzel. Yes, well done. The back Duperuzel coming Ooh. up to meet a high tackle from Ted Witten and take the free kick. Gets it to Saru. Play is allowed to go on. Over here to Milden Hall, who marks. Milden Hall to Neil, is good football. Neil leading up the ground. 
hunt in there, so a Saran Cowley threads his way through and beats another one. Barker gets a beautiful bounce, and he thinks he'll run past Reed and does, and down the wing goes Trevor Barker. Well shepherded too by Basanko, finds um, Elliott. Elliott back to Barker as the St Kilda fullback goes on, he's just cantering down this wing, and this time he puts a pass to George Young, and what a beauty it is too. Charge of David Dench coming right down the ground by Barker on that occasion. Young, close. Will it get the distance? No, it won't. Milden all well up from his accustomed back pocket position. Sees Robert Elliott. Robert Elliott can go uh, goalwards and does. The two uh, big St Kilda guns are there. And George Young, right in the middle of them, plucks it out. Deep perusal. The Saints just out of trouble. Green. He can run on that arc. The Robert Elliott, Stoneham coming in. Glenn Elliott, a loose man, that's Saru up forward. He gets it, he lines up at centre half forward, a long kick by Jeff Saru, and it's just offline, and that piece of play almost deserved the goal for this bit of volleyball. Neil, knocked away from him, queer man. Over in the direction now of Wayne Gordon, who's probably winning against Neil on, on his wing in the first term, to Ross Dunn, who uh, couldn't control a very bad hand pass. Dunn lines up, and he popped it through. Has he? It's into the goal square. It's through. In uh, Terry Bright, who was brilliant early, kicked a couple of goals, in fact. It comes up towards the forward line. There's two Collingwood defenders there. A little lack of talk there. Cooper shoots the ball quickly across towards Ireland, who's moving around the half-back flank. Gee, he's running a long way. Not even one tackle put on him so far. Side step, steadies up. Good kick. Great play from Ireland. Kick. That's the way you play football. Kick quickly across towards Graham Anderson, who's driving straight through. Great football, the Magpies. Goes to Malaki, who came out with Carmen. Oh, that was uh, bad football by Mark Brown. He just let the ball go. Carmen starting to come into play at full forward to Max Richardson. Back to Carmen. This is the Carmen Collingwood want to see. Drops it across beautifully to Graham Anderson. Here's the kick back. Dunn should take the mark again. Mr. Casual sends it in towards full forward. Looking for more again. He looks a most untidy footballer, but he's proving effective. Nowhere to go. Sentence the hand pass. The brothers Richardson are there, taken by Max. In towards the goal square. Lovely shot for goal by Max Richardson. Clark's going to run right through Twiggy Dunn, helped by Mark Brown now. Brown shoots that one out towards two of his teammates on the wing. A tick and two marks it. Geelong on the attack. A good pass, a good lead there from Terry Bright. Three goals, four from him, and the handball quickly across to Turner. Turner a long way out from goal, but still has a long shot. Waiting on the goal umpire, and he said it's a goal. It's a great goal from Mike Turner. Carlton 8-3, South Melbourne 6 goals 5, 51 plays 41, Round and Jones, Jones, but interference again, and the free kick this time goes to Percy Jones, right half back for Carlton, McClure leads at half forward, he's been a focal point, McClure, big leap, great mark, and a good handball this time to Olsen, in the clear is Walls. See much daylight between the goalposts from there. Peter McKenna, he's kicked four goals, one. Lines up for his fifth. Tries the screw punt. Oh, it's a brilliant effort by McKenna. Fantastic performance by Peter McKenna. Five goals, one. And the one that he missed came from about 80 metres out and hit the post. It's about 35 metres out. Here comes the drop punch specialist. You never have to move. Gets his fourth. And uh, that mark at McKenna's was clearly too many inches for John Raptel. set proceedings in motion, which he does. The tap to Balm. North are going into attack. 
The scramble of players coming through Gaunt for Richmond picks it up, but a safe mark taken on the uh, centre wing position by North Melbourne's Ick. Up to the centre half forward position, set behind the pack and uh, taking a magnificent mark for North Melbourne. Phil Baker. Is. Alan Noonan well beyond kicking range, centres it. In front, uh, Baker, the ball to the ground, Cable goes to the ground, socket by Dawson, and it will be picked up by Terry Moore. One of those fortuitous things that happens. Up to the centre of the ground, Wood with a sit, can't take it. Francis Burke backs up, straightens up and shoots for goal, and paints it through. Picked up to Henshaw, and away go North up the centre of the ground. He sees Brightus on his own, and Brightus will mark. And centre half forward being given quite an amount of latitude by McGee. Brightus within kicking distance decides that he'll plant it into the goal square. And uh, oh, almost a mark to Croswell, but picked up and booted through by Malcolm Blight, I think it is. Or is it John Casson again? John Casson shoveled out in the direction of Henshaw across the ground to Cable, who Sockers it, uh, Casson sockers it in the direction of Robertson. He'll be caught by Croswell. No, he won't. It's clear. Looking over here for Reigns. And Reigns, a lovely mark. Dragged to the ground by Schimmel. There should be a 15 metre penalty, that. No question about that. There it is. And a pretty short 15 metres. Play on. Cleet. Clayton into the Jess direction. He's in front and must mark. Kane, Sutton for North Melbourne, an awkward bounce. Punched back by Lamb, picked up by Henshaw of North Melbourne again. Threads his way through a back miraculously. Brightest with the sit here, and a lovely mark, and goes on. Maybe caught, no he's not. Melrose, straightens up and bangs, and it's through. Jennings can't collect the ball. Good play by the Footscray defence. They're going to spoil each other. Power takes a long time to get rid of the ball. Carl fires for goal into the goal square. Great pass! What a great pass! Away from him, his recovery is good. Plenty of strength shown by the, the young fellow. Off hands, well, well, uh, Walsh it and Walsh socks it through. Torbett and Dempsey and Rugg. Torbett knows Hampshire. Dempsey comes from behind. Torbett, the uh, tap goes down to Jennings. Intercepted by Fields, a magnificent kick for goal. And it's a goal. Ends up with uh, Andy Wilson. High kick. Welsh behind, not quite that time. Coming out of the pack, Vanderhaar, and he's put it through. Right up to centre. All right. Looking for Stone. Quiet. Kelly, number 11, and on three-quarter time, so he's got a full tank of petrol there. Going to drop short. Cross to low. And another goal with Footscray. Torbett overran it, and Stoneham takes the free for being held by the ankle. Runs into trouble, but there's plenty of uh, support here. Stephen Power has a go at the goals. And what's he done? It's straight through the centre. Dennis Blair, a few players around him. Bad bounce, but Collins has been a winner on his wing. Most Footscray players, in fact, have won. And there's Welsh. There's not a player beyond the centre line. They're all up on the Footscray forward zone. And Stone goes down, but I don't think there's much in that at the hands of uh, Andrews. And they're probably the two most fiery players of field. No love lost between Stoneham and Andrews. Well, not a player beyond the, beyond the centre line, which shows the dominance of Footscray. 19 kicks coming up for Stoneham. He's been a match winner as a ruck rover. Hampshire. Just to make uh, rug real salt in the wound. Children are on the field from the top end of the ground. Spectacular stuff. Has the siren sounded? No, it hasn't. Off and he will shoot for goal. And Walls kicks it badly. Southcombe should have held that. Good tackle by Cooper, a hand pass back, and the goal is Ashman. Nice pick up by Manassa. Manassa runs into lots of trouble, can't break away. Well done. Atkinson, great tackle again. Down it goes towards Kink. Cleverly across to Manassa. A great hand pass to Thompson. And Thompson up towards Twiggy Dunn, but Mackay just got there in the way. Atkinson, he's a goer and a dasher. 50 metres from goal. 45 as he lines up and shoots. It's a good-looking kick. 
a beauty, a goal. But it's Ireland for Collingwood. They're doing everything right today, the Magpies. They've built themselves up for this match. Out towards three of their teammates on the flank. And it's Anderson across to Max Richardson. And the Magpies are in full flight at the moment. There's a pie in the sky for them as Wearmouth marks it out. And here they go across there of Kink. 20 metres out from goal. The hand pass to Carmen. And the cross there towards Moore. And it's good night, Carl. Carlton in front this time, taken by Pickett. Pickett's got the chance now to shoot for goal, which he does with a very high one. It'll be very close, over the line, I thought. Nose of the boundary on the goal up by, and he was right on it. McClure puts that ball straight into the arms of Bruce Dill. It was a beautifully executed kick. Carlton using the handball now as Dill finds Trezise in the centre of the ground. Trezise across towards Olsen. This is a good passage to play for Carlton, but a little too late. As Olsen blazes away at goal, McKenna had his back to it momentarily too. Mark right on the goal square, and listen to that. They kicked one goal for the day, and that was in the first quarter. And uh, certainly not his fault that Carlton's performance has been so bad today. But he must kick this. Across the centre to Wayne Gordon, another good player. He has to got some fire, Wayne Gordon. Six foot two and a half and a wingman. Great kick downfield, again looking for Thompson. Whoa, done! There's Mr Casual. He's sailing in from the side and a perfectly timed leap and a great mark. And up against tons of height and power there for Dunn, who is an amazing player. Excitement. Point the difference at Essendon. Footscray 49, Essendon 48, 14 minutes into the second quarter. Torbett and Dempsey in rugby. Torbett notes Hampshire. Dempsey comes from behind. Torbett, the uh, tap goes out to Jennings. Intercepted by Field. It's a magnificent kick for goal. And it's a goal. Goal number two to Neville Fields. Jim Jess, David. He kicked five goals last week after missing uh, earlier matches, uh, but he's he's hot and cold. Knocked away from Barr. Taken by Boyd. Reading the play well, Boyd. Covering a lot of ground across towards the half-forward flank. There's young Tim Watson, number 32. Good play, Watson. 15 years of age. His first league game. One of the youngest ever. A handful of them. That's all. The handball. Took the end of Wilson. 30 metres out. Caught off balance. Back towards the half-forward line. Folds. Van der Haar, it'll dribble through. Um, gets it away to Gaunt. Come forward towards the Essendon forward zone. Robbins can't collect it, goes back for a second try. Good play, Stephen Robbins. Who's up there? Mervyn Kane coming down to meet it. Van der Haar, the two number 18s. Van der Haar stood his ground well and took the mark. Finds Ken Roberts forward. So too is Andy Wilson. And Wilson should go back and take a deliberate shot for goal. Looking for his first goal today kick coming in this time no, nothing wrong with that shot for goal but the ball Mervyn Kane and a centre wing and there's the best man on the ground by far Kevin Barr sending Richmond forward again Jess magnificent mark that time close should have gone for the punch Jenkinson with the kick off is Gaunt Eastman not picking up their men at all today youthful enthusiasm may be the excuse Madden's on the ground Burke number 30 Plenty of Essendon players. Brian Walsh has a chance to hand pass to Wilson. Wilson into an open goal, and this time he scored his second. And that's a badly needed one for Essendon. Tools in that position. Oh, it's going to land okay. Torbett punched it down, but oh, bad play. Got it to land to Bartlett. Lining up for goal number four, and he's done it. Madden quickly out towards Bell. He's caught. Not having a good day today. Gaunt. Foles. Fletcher. Out of trouble, out towards the flank. Good mark, Watson, the 15-year-old. Intelligent play as he gives it to Walsh. Walsh with a short kick towards uh, Robbins. Robbins, 20 metres out. Two teammates in front of him. He can't miss. He doesn't. Great play, Bombers. Nobody there for North Melbourne. Nan Curvis for Geelong. 
Right up towards full forward. Donahue a chance this time, but oh, Dench from behind. Brown. Oh, look for Neil, but comes to Scanlon. Cable. Back to Scanlon. Good football, North Melbourne. Scanlon's kicked towards the far side of the ground. Two against one, and great mark in front, Black. Well done, Scanlon. Rove it beautifully. Crosswell. Still there. Whoops, an easy, Mr. Fraser. Croswell. Well battled. A well deserved goal, Brent Croswell. It's Turner. This is possession. Wild swinging hand pass to Higgins. Bright. And that's a goal and a very good goal by uh, Geelong. That's uh, Terry Bright's second goal. Was kicked up towards full forward. Sutton's there. Big leap from behind by Blake. Handball by Malarkey. Clark, Cable, and now Schimmelbush. He's only 35 metres from goal. Snap. Sutton. Great mark. So Cliff. Blake wins easily. There's Cassidy. Doesn't have to look really where to kick it because they're everywhere. Fraser. Hand pass. No, he won't. He'll go for it. Higgins. Oh, he's put it in. Well, they're kicking it from everywhere. Chibble Bush has kicked three goals. We'll take the free kick wide of centre half forward. And by that motion, by walking back and putting uh, back to his play, I would think he thinks he can kick it, but he won't. Off the hands of the pack. Fraser for goal number six. Down to the forward line and uh, very nicely done by Tony Dullard. Across to a crash where Jesselenko puts his body in beautifully. He has Olsen free, loses control of the ball, which is unusual. Fowler tackles him. Jesselenko somehow worms <laughs> Goes goalwards. In front, Austin behind Dullard. No undermark. Uh, this time uh, it's Brewer being held by the wrist by Jesselenko. Kick back in the Heath direction. He's still trying to do it one hand and does. Dullard to pick up. Can he do it? Yes, he's caught. This play's still allowed to go on. Can Dullard make amends? No, he can't, but Fowler can. Mangels. Great hand pass out to that elusive man, Rod Ashman. Rod Ashman's off. Magnificent long kick. Jones, Hamilton. Great play, Beautiful. McKenna. Great play, Jones and McKenna. And he just missed. Hamilton. Long lead given out there by Baker. McClure is going to contest with him. Got there first, but went underneath it. Recovers nicely. Hand pass out wide. Hutchinson in front. Peter Bedford tackles O'Keefe. Hand pass from um, Tom Flower back to Fowler. Underneath it, Gary Baker this time. Looks for a long hand pass out wide to Stephen Smith out there now. Here's Brewer. Brewer can give it to Wells if he wants to, but he'll be intercepted by Austin. Austin slips. Wells takes it across to Dullard. Dullard shoots for goal and puts it through, I think. He did. Harry Baker just too far away. Southcombe tries a short pass downfield. Unsuccessfully. Oh, Hamilton didn't look safe that time, but did it very well eventually. At centre-half back, he sends a long one down the direction of Doolan Graham. Graham are magnificent lead. was a good decision and Tresize is taking kick number seven against a very talented opponent in Wells and kick number seven oh. is a beautiful kick too right to the goal square McKenna great hand pass McKenna bit quick to Bedford Bedford dodges turns quick kicks for goal and does it oh. Let's go to a leave in the centre half forward direction. Quinlan with a sit, punches it on in front. Morrison back to Edmund. A beautiful hand pass to Jennings. Jennings beautifully shepherded by Hampshire. And this time it's a goal. Welsh again. This time he decides he'll kick off over in this side of the ground, looking for the Stoneham lead. Is Edwards to mark easily? And so far, um, 
He's been giving Ian Dunstan all sorts of curry. He has Bartlett loose. Bartlett's not so loose now, but um, there's nothing else that Wheeler could do. He realises uh, that he's given away a free kick. Bounce. Jenkinson punches away. Mervyn Kane misses it. Diving on it was Reed. Picked up by Kane, cleverly to Bartlett. Bartlett out wide to Clayton. Clayton half-back flank tries the short one to Sheedy. Sheedy gets someone crashing into him power. Back in the flash to Clayton was brilliant. Across it towards Jess. Too high it was. Married up by Reigns. Reigns across to half-forward flank. Edwards. Bumped down by Dunstan. Picked up by uh, the back pocket Wheeler. Oh, look at them going. Wheeler's off. Umpire letting go. That's at a half back. He boots it to Quinlan. Royce Hart goes up and Quinlan did it in beautiful fashion. They spoiled each other did the Tigers that time. Balm comes out with it. Great football, Balm. Across it goes to Hart. Hart a long left footer down to the goal square. Jimmy Jess up, takes the mark. Has not had much influence on the game as we're in about the 16 minute mark of the third term. Jess comes in, shoots for goal. A very nice looking kick. Edwards can't get it. Bartlett in there. Soccer's off the ground and he's dropped it through. Right half back for Carlton. They run with a fairly stiff breeze in the first quarter. Could be worth about three or four goals. Duels kick to centre half forward. Moore's there again. Off hands. Handball into Walls. He can score from here. Robert Walls lines up and has kicked straight. Played 15 minutes in the first quarter. North in the forward pocket. Southcombe wins the tap. Uncontested. Clever tap on by Ashman looking for Ray Byrne. Infield looking for Duel, chopped off Dawson. Bad handball to Cassie. To size the handball upfield to Byrne. Carlton away through McClure now. Oh, lucky to Ray Byrne. Byrne through the centre. Up to full forward, one against one. McKenna and Dench. Over the back, chance for Bedford. In the forward pocket, snap for goal by Bedford. Is just offline and trickles through for a behind. Carlton seven scoring shots, but lead by only a goal. From North Melbourne, one scoring shot, which was straight. From that uh, ruck up towards goals, and it's cleared the pack and has gone through for full points. Chased by Southcombe. And now John Byrne, still Southcombe chasing. Good football by him to half forward. Dawson and Brightus on great play, Jezelenko. And he ducked into a tackle, was tackled high, but there's no free kick forthcoming, and it'll be a boundary throw in. He certainly got the tackle around the head, but whether umpire Kevin Smith ruled he ducked into it. Throw in, Brightus taps up field looking for Cable, duel for Carlton, Whitnell and Ray Byrne to centre half forward, McClure. He plays on, short pass to Ashman. Oh, bad football Ashman, but he still has a chance if he can get around Ramsey. Play on, said the umpire. Ashman, Walls, scrappy football down in the, coward, uh, the Carlton uh, attacking zone. And the whistle is eventually gone. It's a free kick to North Melbourne. That comes Sutton. Moreland running the boundary for uh, North Melbourne. He's going to come on as a replacement. McClure, the hand pass wide to Bedford. Bedford from 40 metres, closing the gap on the goals. He's dobbed it in and he's put it through. Big car. Good kick from him too. Thompson running into Mark. This one, if he can, got a hand to it. Twiggy done. About to strip it back. Conning, chip it out of the pack. Bond picked it up and booted it down to full forward. Young in front. Three St Kilda players there. Collingwood using much more uh, aplomb in that back line. Young caught with the ball. Got it away. Cowboy near with a quick handball. A shot for goal by Breen. It's through. That's a pretty good bounce. Oh, Saru up high. But Thompson wins out through sheer judgment. Wayne Richardson caught by Colling. No play on the call. There's Carmen. He's been in the thick of things. Thompson out by Pedro. It's a goal. as well. William out the shorter play of the handball quickly back to Carmen. Handball back towards uh, William out again on an acute angle. 30 metres out, running towards goal. Over towards Kink. Picked up by Mac Richardson. Point blank range and he's shot it through. This perfect boot goes right out towards the uh, back line. And George Young retrieves it. Puts it into attack towards Breen. Waiting for it quickly at the back was Carter, who's already kicked one. 30 metres out, good play over to Hunt. He's only a metre or two out, he can't miss. And he has it. His second goal. Looking for Young, who's been completely outclassed today by the Collingwood defence. Wayne Richardson. He got it out of the pack somehow to Gordon. Oh, how about that? He rode it beautifully. He got some momentum off the tackle. 
up towards Elliott. Oh, nearly. Wehmer waved it beautifully, lines up. It's a goal to Collingwood. Gets a mistake. Gets it out to Cable. Cable is zooming past to the centre. Gumbledon drops the mark. Byrne, infield to Dawson, and North away now. Dawson, a long kick to full forward. Fraser's down there with Bridus. Oh, great mark, David McCoy. where it's going to be Welsh versus Dunn once again. Welsh punches it down, Reigns has got it. Reigns across to Dunn when he should have gone on with it, Reigns. Dunn hits it out wide and Dennis Collins will have too much speed for him. Across comes Roberts, Roberts picks it up and boots Richmond into attack looking for Bartlett. Past Bartlett, here's Wood. Wood gets a hand pass across, a chance for Edwards. Edwards has tackled, should have given it to Bartlett but kicks it a goal. <laughs> And it's the bounding Peter Knights who pinches one from Ian Cooper of Collingwood. Picked up by Ede. It's Hudson versus Worthington with Cooper. Oh, Knights, a sensational leap. And that's one of those typical ones that gets him the one of the year. And... Kink. There's a chance now for Barham for his third goal. It's a hard one. He does it support. Peter Welsh, long way down from uh, the back line, screws it in towards goal. Great shepherding by Hudson. That could be through. And look to have that one. O'Halloran, oh, the left footer. Out for Hendry. Oh, great lead picking. Intercept. Oh, collision coming up with Kevin Gross. Tuck gets it back. Hendry, scrambling football by the Hawthorne defence. Taken by Stan Magro. Long enough. Justin Lackendevitt was the blonde bombshell and he fights for Tony Dunn's in there with him. A hand passes beautifully out to Max Richardson. Max Richardson will shoot for goal. Steadies and does it and does it very well once again. Moore. Delamata pushed Hendry. Hendry a hand pass out to Polkinghorn. Polkinghorn across to Lee Matthews. Lee Matthews tries a short one to Hudson. Great pass. Hudson recovers beautifully. Long hand passes, great football, and he gives Kelvin Matthews another goal. Coming up for another serve, up towards full four. Now Peter Moore against Kelvin Moore. Moore the fly from behind. Weary looking players now. Tuck met by Perry. Perry out wide, taken by Anderson. He should hand pass. But he doesn't and kicks a goal. Bounce, Scott against Thompson. Thompson gets it clear, looking for Perry. Perry, the big fellow on as a reserve, done beautifully over to Wearmouth. Could this be goal number 22? Wearmouth lines it up. I think he might be offline. No, he's not. The free kick for Footsgray. Left centre wing towards centre half forward. Browning for South Melbourne. And behind Edmund Footsgray. 
heavy rain now at the lakeside oval towards full forward. Puppets for Footscray. Short pass, Dempsey, and Dempsey marks. Plays on with the handball, Blair, and he shoots truly, and Footscray go to two goals, one, leading South Melbourne, one behind. Good centre half back. Down the centre of the ground. At the back, Huppets. And a good moment. Read the flight of the ball with the wind very well and took a nice mark at the back of Morrison, spotting him at good four or five inches. Ray Huppets, probably the smallest player on the ground. Into the goal square. B. Crockett and Dempsey. Certainly. Quinlan has uh, Jennings free and handballs to Quaid, which was uh, desperation more than anything else. Morewood, round, caught, dead set. And it will be Bernie Quinlan to take a straight left and the free kick. Surrounded by South Melbourne players. Handball over the top, Quinlan in the clear. He can score from here. Left foot, Quinlan is straight. David Young breaks clear, coming up for his fifth kick to the quarter. Long kick by him towards the goal square. Back there is Welsh, but he can't mark. Still in the field to play goal. Handball to Browning, snap for goal. It's through. For Kelly and Morrison. The ball bounces favourably for Morrison. A hand pass for Browning. And Browning would be wise to kick it before he uh, get it before he kicks it. Morwood in all sorts of trouble. Gets it back to Morrison going past a good backing up football. Goss for South Melbourne. Drives them further on attack, but Wheeler stems the tie. Been a good play for Footscray, Blair. Blair's kick, sheltered by the grandstand. Hampshire there, off hands. Quinlan kicks for goals and has put it through. Bernie Quinlan, three goals won, and Footscray go out again to a margin of eight points. Badura towards half forward, and the mark is taken by Roberts. At wide to Bartlett. In the forward pocket, lines up. It's going to drop a bit short, I think. No, Malarkey, I don't think he got there. It's a goal. Kick by Bartlett. Fourth throw in this quarter. Done. Newman wins out, goes to Bartlett. Deflected across. Newman, plenty of strength there. The half back. Finds Cousins. Across to Mark Brown. Newland. Good mark, Newland. It's a call from Sarah. Turner running past. He goes to set a half forward to Higgins. One hand and not good enough. Burke. Hart. Oh, head on. He should have tackled him rather than try and just bounce off him. Here's a chance for Sarah. Collision coming up. Jenkinson all over the top he goes. Hawkins to Newland. He taps it on. Bright. And he's put it through. Good play, Geelong. As Barb slips in front of Newman and wins that tap down. Barb again into the waiting arms of Petura, who easily sides steps. Kicks the centre half forward to find Barclay. Richmond looked good. Barb up towards full forward. A one handed attempt there, not good enough by Edwards. Picked up by Roberts on his fingertips. Was it kicked through for a behind? Was. It's touched one behind only, and Richmond a little bit out of luck there. But uh, they looked promising as they came into attack. Player. He's on the back line. He gets a call in the centre from Paul Serra. He knew he had to go, and he swings the ball right across the other side of the ground towards Higgins. Higgins is on the wing now. Geelong creating the loose man. They look good for the first time in the match as Nan Curvis takes it. Nan Curvis having run on the ball uh, since halfway through that first quarter. Across to Turner now, 50 metres out at centre-half forward. Up to Donahue in the goal square. Man in front's got a market, and that's Jenkinson. Janiel has been completely outclassed today. So has Turner, to that, for that matter. Towards full forward. Edwards had the sip and couldn't get it. High tackle, Miller. Across to Bartlett. Kick number 18 to Bartlett. And goal number five. Richmond having the use of the breeze. And the kick down towards Terry Bright. Too many Geelong players have gone bye-byes uh, in this match. Out it comes to Petura. Beautiful kick. Down to the half-forward line to Roach. He couldn't get near it. Then Curvis Ian goes after it. Wood runs in, taps it down, picks it up nicely in one hand. In the fifth forward pocket, lines up, pops it through. Good play. Great play, Brian Wood. Bringing the ball back to centre half forward. Donahue in front of Jenkinson. Jenkinson too tall, got long arms like a gorilla. Had the Francis Burke and Ken Newland who's been disappointing today in his return match after going to Footscray. Jenkinson running down, calling for the ball. Beautifully got that to Sheedy. Sheedy back to the centre. Should be a Geelong mark. No, it's not. Mature out the pointed uh, Nan Curvis and then handballed it quickly across to Jeff Raines. 
range with a low one into the arms there of uh, Edwards, who's done very little since the first quarter when he kicked two great goals. And Edwards now ten and a half forward. Terrible kick, right off the side of his boot. Brimacum went right through his arm. Antuck, up in the air to nobody. Wearmouth trying to get uh, possession paddles, coming through Morrison, hits him in the face. And, oh, Pickett goes in and downs him. Just to swing back and looking for round. A nice smother by Gross. Down goes Goss. Keo. Whoops, the body. Pickett. Collision here, Jones. Oh! Environment was Edwards. To Clayton. Footscray using plenty of weight. Fleming. Wheeler's there. Wheeler might get a push in the back. He does. Wheeler and Newman. Lovely kick. Looking for Quinlan. Behind was Newman. Couldn't quite take the mark. Perusic goes in. Geelong. Hampshire. Hampshire and a Geelong player having words. Hampshire is going to kick a goal. Wait for the... Oops, it's on again. One of the new boys trying to show his powers, number 19, Fleming. And let's wait for the decision. Baum, out to Bartlett beautifully, around the outer wing looking for Sheedy. Duel is there, a good mark for a duel. A very impressive start to this match. Sees Ashman. Now, McConnell's by himself in the half forward line, but he's going the other way, out wide. That's Armstrong. McKenna dropping back. Armstrong, a short one into Pickett. He sidesteps, lines up at centre half forward, and there's Carlton's first goal on the board. Right forward pocket, the Tigers into attack. Done. Down to Carter, fumble just a fraction. Out to Edwards, Sheedy, open goal. He lines up on his left boot, and he's put it through. Burt is uh, looking after, after Bedford. He finds Clayton, and here goes the Richmond handball. That's Naylor to Bartlett, who called for it. He couldn't give it to a better player. Then towards Roberts on the half-forward line. The chip quickly to Dunn. And he's marked 30 metres out. Harden towards centre-half-forward, looking for Dunn. Edwards up, punched away by Southby. Fadura has a flying snapshot. Heavens, look at that curl. <laughs> look at Jones go. Look at that speed. Straight to Bedford. Ashman, no, dropping out towards McConnon. Ashman will, no, McConnon shepherds off for Ashman. Well done, McConnon. Well done, Ashman. Lines up deep on the flank. McClure dropping back. He'll shepherd through. No! Oh, what a mark by McClure. He can take it. Get it out to Kane. In turn to Sheedy. Sheedy to Wood. Well played, Wood. Lines up. Oh, shot. Neville Roberts is after it with Whitnell. To Bartlett. He's on the impossible angle. Oh, I tell you what, that wasn't a bad goal. Edwards now at centre half forward. There's Austin Boots at one straight down the centre. Bartlett flies. Almost taken that out of the sky. Picked up by Armstrong. He just drove it down to the half forward line. Jenkins and misread it. McKenna's best out of it. This duel. Quickly across to Keogh, 30 metres out. Paddock in front of him. Drops it. Straight through. And now it's the Tigers' turn to come forward. They trail by four points. The Blues, four points in front. Kick by Edwards. Oh, nearly a mark for that man in front. That was Roach. Sheedy. And the Tigers are back in front. Fellows in the centre. Thompson and Teasdale. Thompson to Weirmouth. Over the head of Barham. Now Rene Kink. Great handball over to Barham. A chance for Ricky Barham to score from half forward. Great kick. And Teasdale's kick to centre wing. Round for South Melbourne. And from the back, Gross. Great handball upfield. Barham. Kick to centre half forward. A great mark was taken by Manassa. 13 points the difference. With Worthington again the job of bringing the ball back into play. Over centre half back. Punched on by Anderson to the centre of the ground. Gordon. Ball playing it on the string. Over the top, Kink. He can score. Rene Kink. Has he gone too far? More in the goal square.
towards the centre of the ground. Dempster, picking hands on the ball, but no mark. Dunn fumbling. Inside half forward. Moore. Peter Moore. And Teasdale. Teasdale, a backhand. Straight out to Gary Bryce. Bryce shoots south into attack. Up in front, round to Mark. Long hand pass to Browning. Browning straightens up and shoots towards goal. Cooper on the last line of defence touches it. Out wide it goes to Jennings. Jennings in a flashback to Blair. Blair then a long one down looking for Bruce Reed. He goes up and can't take it. Recovers nicely. A hand pass goes out to Templeton. Uh, out to drive, driven for goal. I couldn't pick who it was. Dunstan. Dunstan it was, number 32. Fleming towards centre half forward. The only one went for it was Reed and dropped to Chesty. Stoneham gets it out wide. Back it goes to Quinlan. Quinlan tackled and drops it. Quinlan recovers possession. Then drives it out to Templeton with a good looking pass. Scarlett's with him all the way. Blake comes in. Blair gets it back to Templeton. Templeton left foot snap for goal as a free goal. Well, foot's great, can't pick him. Out wide it goes. It's two to one against you, Robert Neal, this time, and easily taken by Perusic. Perusic has got plenty of speed. Woodman nearly gathers him up, but Perusic gets away from him. Out wide it goes. Pass wall now. Reed comes in. He's hotly pursued by Malarkey. Nicely picked up out there by Jennings. Jennings has kicked very well. This is not a good one. Well played, Neil. Nice play, Stoneham. Stoneham out to Templeton. Templeton runs into an open goal. And that was wonderful football. Kick from the half-back line towards centre field. Alan Woodman coming across. Oh, great mark. Great leap by Newland, who took the mark. And hand passes out wide to Brimacombe. Beautiful mark, that by Newland, which was hard to capture on camera. Yes, a good one to Hawkins. Over his head. David Clark shoots for goal and puts it through. Well, David Clark saved that situation. The short pass was too high, and if ever a goal was kicked under. P.O. Very quick to get uh, Boot to ball. Oh! Oh, oh Pickett, what a mark! He had it on the string. chain of handball. O'Neill, the fullback, past the centre. Put that player under a lot of pressure. Great, great, great handball. Still with O'Neill. Shot for goal. What a great oh, what a goal! Melbourne. Terry O'Neill, the fullback. Rice down towards the centre half forward position, round in front, couldn't hold it quite long enough, dodges cleverly, cleverly spoiled by Cable, brilliant Cable, Cable's back into it again, off goes the little chunky brilliant Rover, playing his hundredth game a bit short that time, over the top it goes Melrose, and they've lost it, Ooh. Melrose over the top again and the free kick will go to South Melbourne, and it'll go to McLeish. Not a bad kick with a heavy ball, covered, absolutely caked in mud, Sutton got high, good, He'll handball it out to Cable. Great goal, Barry Cable. Pass to Robertson. Looking for McLeish. Oh, great mark. It's taken by uh, Morrison. Now I'm looking for Baker. Teasdale, the big leap. Oh, magnificent leap over the top of Baker. Kick off the ground by O'Neill. Alves tries to keep it in and does it beautifully. Lines up in the forward pocket. Ricky Quaid plays on quickly, Wayne Shimblebush. 
in towards centre half forward it goes. Teasdale, great mark Teasdale. Picked up by Robertson, Robertson turns and twists, gets a long one downfield, Calton goes in, almost took a good one, picked up nicely by Hounsell, Hounsell snaps superbly and rams it through. Away from him by uh, Austin that time, picked up by Whitnell, a skimming kick, it doesn't travel more than 15 or 20 metres. Kevin Heath, no, it was Pickett, Pickett to centre half forward, leaves the way open for Bedford, the long hand pass looking for McClure, McClure with strength, shrugs himself away from the tackle and finds Southcombe not far out from goal. Southcombe has a Keogh going past, great teamwork by Carlton, second goal through Trevor Keogh. Size. Carlton moving forward with short kicks, a longer one now, McClure's there, and that'll be a free kick, Mark McClure. Barry Armstrong trying to guard him off, lovely pass, Welsh. Jones to Ashman, to Keogh, and now Pennell to half forward, Southcombe, good football by Carlton, and Southcombe has marked the right half forward, McClure goes past. On his own is Mackay, who should mark and go with South Melbourne beating North at the back Abbey Dunstan and Dunstan's kick to centre half forward too much carry for Bruce Reed, but a clever mark by Southby quickly to half forward and Southby coming into his own now over the top of Reed, Whitnell that was Tresize and now Pickett at centre wing to half forward but it's all Footscray Relayed kick, McConnell right up towards the goal square. Long kick by the freshman. Mackay in front. Great right mark, David Mackay. Back to McConnell. Carlton toying with the opposition now. Towards uh, full forward. Knocked away by Mar from Murray to Mark McClure. The shot by McClure is a good one. Back pocket with Alexander. And that's Austin with the kick now. Into the centre of the ground. Newman. Oh, good mark. Yeah. Picked up by Gary Wilson. And away he goes across the face of goal. Overlooking for Shepard on his hammer. Oh, lovely mark, Ross Shepard. So Keith and Fitzroy to put it back into attack. Near Ned Curvis. Clever mark of Shepard. Shepard onto Wilson. A bad hand pass. Wilson scoops it nicely. And he straightens up and fires back towards goal. They're up before acceptances. And a lovely mark by Johnny Newman. Troy, but straight into the arms of David Clark. Non stop football as Clark goes. Murphy sets himself up right. But uh, 60 metres away, maybe that's why he calls his shots. Oh, up and out, that was Newman. Murphy, a ping. Must be close. It is, and it's another goal. Almost the end of the game. Alexander, Cousins for Geelong. Terry Bright. Oh, beautiful balance, steadies. It's arcing around and straight through. Kick number 16 for the Geelong half forward. Yes, and he's uh, put it close. He won't get the distance. Donoghue over the head. And through for his seventh goal. to Parasic, short pass looking for Witten. Oh! <laughs> Tremendous mark.
the short pass, but it comes off to Martello. Martello with a long one back to centre half forward where Payton is now centre half forward. Scanlon missed another one. Chance for Rowlings. Diving on it there was good football by Newton. Kicked off the ground out wide. All free kick must go to Scott that time against Andrews. Please and tell. down they go. Oh, look at the feet of Scott there. Well, going to be on today with Scott and Andrews and Madden. Between half back flank and back pocket for Essen on the grandstand side. Jeff Ablett in front position. Takes it very easily. Plays on, be caught. Now a good hand pass to Tuck. Tuck's in a lot of trouble. Hand pass across to Rowlings. Rowlings in trouble now. Bell over the top of him. Rowlings hit by Andrews. He plays on again and beats them all. He's still got it as young Barry Rowlings. He takes a free kick and down he goes again. And Martello comes in and indicates to Andrews his displeasure with the situation. And I think Peter Knights may have been reported by uh, one of the field and one of the boundary umpires. Yes, Ran a long way up the ground to remonstrate yes, with uh, the player. Yes. No, he's not turning as he's turning around. The Carlton players race in front of the Robert Heatley stand. Payton and Torbett. Torbett to hook it over the back. Coming in Lee Matthews. Again, sticks out the post area. Being held when not in possession. Well, I don't know. I might sound a bit one-eyed, but I do not agree with that decision because Matthews had the ball, paddling it along the ground. Is it look good still? Certainly by the decisions, as Andrews goes in to try and mark. Lee Matthews caught and slung to the ground. Grabbed by Newton. Elbows flying everywhere as the ball goes up in the air towards Payton. Fists it back. Picked up by Murphy. On to Lee Matthews. Another goal to Hudson. Yes. This time it's Hudson and Rod Andrews. So he's had a fair go at about 20% um, of the uh, Hawthorne side in this quarter. The speed gets clear. Drives Hawthorne into attack to uh, a waiting Mornane. Mornay Murphy. Murphy over towards Jeff Ablett. Jeff Ablett has Lee Matthews free but decides to go goalwards. Um, Payton bundled out of the way. Hudson all oh, gathered in beautifully. The boundary umpire from a long way away said out of bounds. Signal out of bounds and changed his mind. But Hudson comes back again. That's uh, symptomatic of the umpiring here today. His tuck turns around, shoots for goal, and pops it through. Well, the boundary umpire definitely signaled out of bounds. Comes Robin close. He certainly had plenty of kicking out to do for the 22nd time. Chance for Roberts. He'll be tackled by Martello, and that's always trouble. Whoa! That was very foolish once again. I don't know whether Madden thinks he's a protector of the side. Standing still, threads it through to Welsh. Welsh comes in towards the centre of the ground. Here on his own is Murphy. He misses it. It hits Fletcher in the eye. Coming up, scan on his court by the neck. <laughs> well, every picture tells a story. Dennis Scanlon, the only Essendon footballer whose chin starts at his shoulders. No neck at all. Rowlings walking around the field to go off as Matthews, a great hand pass to Martello. Mantello. Chance now for a short one by Manane. Peter Hudson will mark. Look at him. <laughs> he was about to go, Doug. When he saw that Robin Close was not to let him go, he then uh, went and had a few words with him. <laughs> yes, very aggressive as placid Peter. Yes. Yeah. Came back the wrong way. Short kicking towards the centre, but that's going to a St Kilda player in the Russell Green, and away he goes, down the middle. St Kilda with two early ones on the board. Hunt at the back. Ooh, almost grabbed that one. George Young with the ball now. The man coming through is Calry. The man that loses Hunt. A good play, St Kilda. Richmond in towards the centre to Grant of Alan Edwards. Perivik stabs that one through that mud patch and goes back for another serve. Waiting for his due perusal. Shepherds for a teammate there in Williams. Good handball across towards Tweedale. Tweedale lines up. It's bending around and through. Good football from Kilden. Kilden. That's Merman Kane coming out. He goes down. Rough and tough. Brian Wood. Free kick to St Kilda here. Tweedale. The head buried in somebody's legs. Saru. The long hand pass. Callery. 
Up forward they go again. Mark to Duperuz will know, but a free kick. Well, St Kilda playing inspired football. The Richmond defence very, very loose indeed. The high flies again. A mark. And it's Rex Hunt. Neville Roberts running across to take the kickoff from Noel Jenkinson. No, Colin Carter. Uh, Neil Carter. So beautiful mark by Saru. And that's Michael Roach. Centre half forward. Has the long shot for goal. Unguarded goal square. Monteith. Great mark. Could be argued that he could have let the ball bounce, but then it could have bounced anywhere once it hit the turf. Cowboy number 18. It's Saru and Emma Dunn, and Sheedy takes it. Gets the handball across to Bartlett with a uh, just inside the boundary line. Turns, has a quick look. Pot shot. Put it through. Great effort. What a percentage player he is. Uh, Elliot, centre field. Lovely kick. The centre half forward. Glenn Elliott is there. Balm, one hander. Great mark. Play on is called. The Rovers are wanted. Russell Green, was it? Picking it up. Very hard to tell under these conditions. Mervyn Kane, working well in the back pocket, although he took that kick from centre field. High flyers. Brian Wood scouting beautifully. The long hand pass to Noel Carter. Bartlett into the goal square. Goal coming out for Bartlett. Side step beautifully. And around he goes for Richmond's fifth. Second goal for Bartlett. Seven goals won. Bartlett into the square. Good kick. Oh, the chance here for Sheedy. Over the shoulder. No, doesn't want it. Neville Roberts. Goal. Richmond in front. For the first time in the game, and it took... 16 minutes of the second quarter to establish it. There's Neville Roberts. That's his first goal. Unselfish football by the initiator of that goal, Kevin Sheedy. To Sean Hall does it nicely. Gets it out to Morris O'Keefe. Tweeddale creates the loose man again. We go for him, he will. Short pass to Tweeddale. Courage by Tweeddale. Off he goes again. What a class player. Lovely pass to uh, George Young. Million players around that uh, throw up. Carter, Cowboy Neil, short one towards uh, Perivic. Cowley calls for it on the flank across towards Tweeddale. They've got a winner there. He's too fast for Burton. He's burning on that half forward flank. A long kick up towards Hunt and, uh, and Young. Jim Jess can't get it. Picked up quickly by Clinton. Tweeddale again running into position. A bang for goal. A mark by George Young. Look at this. Black moustache. Not a bad kick either from Pirovic. Oh, almost a grab from behind. Green. Elliot had a quick look. Gets a lead. Not a good kick. Hunt. Oh, beauty! Saru. Great battle between he and Neil Baum. Flyer is Colin Carter. Couldn't take it. Barry Breen. Nicely. Fumbled by Gary Colling, who might be a little dazed still. Nice pass. Bruce Duperuzel. Brian Wood pushed back on the mark by Duperuzel. Goes in close to the man on the mark, then up towards Tweeddale. <laughs> Russell Tweeddale with two goals, two. By Jeff, uh, uh, John Sutcliffe. Two straight goals, St Kilda are in it. On the, on the wing is Bartlett, boots that towards the half-forward line. Dunn can't do a thing right in the air. Roberts takes it, gives it to Wood. Wood going through the half-forward line at full right here. He can kick it from this distance. Across to Carter, Carter dead in front. A low straight one. 15 metres forward of the centre. Grambo kicks short of the square. Punched away by Cooper. Down to Brewer. Good handball out to Biffin. Snap for goal by Ray Biffin. Is a great goal. Yes. Umpire throwing it up there. The ball hits the ground and streaming through the pack beautifully on that occasion was Cook. Uh, Cook. To centre half forward, Graham. Play on football to Brewer. Brewer shot for goal. It's true. Great foot. Ruckman not there yet. Peter Moore takes clean possession. His 50th game. Handballs back to Barham. In front, Sullivan. Off hands to Carmen. Snap. Goal. The mark and going past Wells again. Handballs out in front of himself and taps further afield to Flower. Tom Flower. Short pass by him towards the centre of the ground. Good football. Oh, and, and this is Cole to mail in the clear at half forward. Short pass, Dullard in the pocket, and he marks. Biffin in the goal square. A goal coming up. Ray Biffin. Great football by Melbourne. Right from...
Oh, oh slipping over on the greasy turf. Picken back to Wearmouth. Graham's got a lot of pace. Wearmouth's kick towards the forward pocket. Dunn fumbles again. Still got a chance. Twiggy Dunn. Shot for goal. Is very close. Oh, heavens great. above. Forward at the back. Grambo a big leap but no mark. Carmen. Handball upfield to Max Richardson. And further afield to Kink. 20 metres out. Rene Kink. He's missed, I think. No, he's put it through. That looks for free kick. Anderson across to Wayne Richardson, the brother Max, to Kink, gets a bit of a help along. Max Richardson lines up at centre half forward and bangs it home for his fourth goal. Teasdale behind. That's Graham, does it well, that towards uh, Wells, drives to soccer. Graham gets pushed from the side, picked up by Robertson. Funny old kicker towards half forward. Grambo traps it pretty well, then throws the ball away. A nice little soccer pass across to Robert Flower. Hand pass to Graham going past. Good football by Melvin. Bryce underneath it. Rantel in the practice wicket area. You can see the terrific amount of uh, moisture and water there. Dempster playing his 50th today from half back. Looking for Woodman. Davis is there. Punches the ball away down to McLeish. Pouncel there for the hand pass. He's deep on the half forward line for South Melbourne. Goes for a run. Beautiful kick by Hounsell, and he's put it in, I think. He had. No, it was just touched. The big pack over the top, Davis. It's robbed from by him. Comes to Woodman. Woodman uh, straightens up and with the left foot finally hooks one back. And it's gone right through, I'd say, for the first major for South Melbourne. A couple of leads uh, in towards centre half forward. He's going to Young. And Young, who. The only thing really that impresses me as a footballer, this fellow. The only thing that did, uh, Peter, was uh, make the angle more acute here. Well, he hasn't now. He's played on and look at it, right across the face of goal. Barry Round is there, taps it down, um, taken away by uh, Tom Flower. His kick was smothered, picked up by Hansel, and he's put it through. Graham to take the free kick. Comes inboard into the centre and hits Campbell right on the chest. Campbell looks for the lead from Biffin. It's not forthcoming. Biffin's in front. The leaper. At the back uh, flower. On towards Walters. Through for goal. And look at the young fellow uh, dancing with glee at his first goal in league football, I'd say. Peter Welsh. Nowhere to go. He'll have to do the work himself. It's going goalwards. And there should be a mark of Jennings. Goal number three to Jeff Jennings. Bond. Players using different guernseys in this third quarter because they've run out of uh, dry ones. Shot in by Anderson there. And a putt shot for goal and touch as it's gone through. Uh, Peter Footscray teammates out there. Stephen Power onto Dennis Blair. Blair collects it now. Ooh, tries to do too much too long. And the free kick to Phil Manassa. Ooh, how do you like that? Weird now just shrugs it off. Leonis, of course, it comes out towards Shane Bond. Umpire's whistle's gone now, and uh, a decent old thump here. <laughs> Free to Wearmouth. Ron Wearmouth, nicely helped by his teammates, comes out of defence into attack to Rene Kink. He must take the free kick, if not the mark, because Smith was going back the other way without his eye on the ball. And we're very pleased with Rene Kink's performance today. Been a very good full forward, in contrast to Peter Welsh at the other end of the ground. Ross Abbey over the ball. Out to Bond, to Thompson, to Magro, to Carmen. Carmen can't collect it. He's got uh, an open goal in front if he wanted it. Tried to do too much. Oh, and it's on. Wheeler, well tackled by Stan Magro. And Ross Abbey will lose the football for Footscray if he doesn't. It's John Byrne. Goes up the centre wing once again. Rather oh, wild and woolly effort to gain possession there. Over the shoulder, says the umpire. Oh, how could you umpire, says uh, Ablett. Casson's free kick. Melrose, he's looking for. Melrose gains possession. Cable free. Pushed in the back. But gets the pass to Crosswell. Pulled off the kick. Payton. Martello. Long kick, Martello to full forward. And a Hawthorne mark. Murphy. 
obviously under instructions to go straight down the centre of the ground. O'Halloran's in front and grabs the easy chest mark. He goes out to the wing. And a splendid mark there by Baker. And he kicks from the centre of the ground. And uh, in the words of an ancient commentator, it's a scrubby old kick. There's Melrose going in. Anybody's football. Slightly in the back. Lee Matthews. And uh, Ick. <laughs> An eight yard mark. And they pack down a scrum at 25. And the 5 8 throws the ball in. Moore's kick to half back. Off the hands at the back, Rice. Dodged a couple of tackles well. And a Hawthorne mark in front of the pack. And it's Murphy. Three behinds to Murphy. This time favouring the grandstand side. Keith Gregg. There's the kick. It looks pretty good. Right on the line. Kelvin Moore punches away. In Beautiful pick pocket, up by Melrose. Melrose. Snap for goal by Melrose. me. Sensational. Just offline. But... Dempsey. And more. Down they go. Not very attractive football. It's certainly not getting the game moving at all, which they want to. A good knock away from the centre now, or that area would uh, do wonders for the game. 19 balls up. Blair takes it. Across towards... Uh, Parasic, a lead there for Quinlan. Oh, he put his shoulder into the ground and uh, did the right thing there. Well, he has it now. He's played on and look at it, right across the face of goal. Barry Round is there, taps it down, um, taken away by uh, Tom Flower. His kick was smothered, picked up by Hansel, and he's put it through. Graham, congratulations on a, a great fighting win today because it looked uh, lost there about 20 minutes into the last quarter. Yes, yes. But most of the game, they were much more desperate than we were. Just that last 15 minutes, um, just a long, hard slog, we managed to get back to them. What about you in the last few weeks? You've come from an up and down, in and out form, full forward, to one of the giants of football, and everyone's talking about you, uh, even in terms of, say, even a Brownlow medal. Now, what has caused this resurgence to your career? Well, it's hard to answer other than the fact that Barry uh, Goodingham broke his hand and someone had to take the role. Um, I couldn't tell you. Well, you played full forward, as I said, spasmodically, and then you, if uh, you're having a bad day there, they'd put you down at uh, full back. But whose idea was it to go and take over from Barry Goodingham? Yours or Ian Stewart's? Well, there was really no other choice. I'm the, the tallest player left in the side. Uh, uh, Barry Round's about six foot two, and uh, he was more value up in the forward line. What about physical fitness? Because playing in, say, a full forward role, uh, you don't have to be as fit as you are now. Now, you've, you seem much bigger than yourself. Have you been using weights in summer or what? No, I did a, a very, very heavy uh, season with John Tom in the pre-season at Caulfield and the Botanical Gardens, training five nights a week from uh, October till late January. So I've still got the, plenty of run in my legs. The incredible thing about big men and ruckmen is the fact that they uh, sometimes take years to mature. Now, You've made the transition so quickly. Uh, who taught you all you know about positioning and ruck play? Well, I think um, the most important thing about ruck play is uh, to put your body in between the ball and the, your opposing ruckman. But uh, that's just something I suppose, you know, I've seen a lot of ruckmen play over the years and I suppose I've caught a little bit off them. A lot of the top ruckmen have been fairly critical of the umpiring decisions in ruck this year. I know you can't say anything about the umpires, but have you been quite happy with the way that you've been treated? Yes, I am. You know, um, I try and get in first for the ball, and uh, I believe the player that gets in first should get all the opportunities. And now that South Melbourne are in sixth place, uh, one more step and you're inside the five. If you make the five in the next couple of weeks, because I think you play Essendon and Geelong, which are relatively easy matches if you can call them that way, do you think you're good enough to stay there? 
I think we are, but we've just got to keep things in the right perspective. Like uh, today was a very important game, and uh, we knew how ke keen Melbourne were going to be, and we've just got to take every game as it comes and keep on top. And you're thinking in terms of a Brownlow at this early stage no, of the season? No, not at all. Not at all. How long did that go? Reserve uh, grade games were cancelled at all grounds. Have a look at Michael Moncrief there, looking a bit like a swan sailing down the arrow as he drags in a mark. Yeah, appalling conditions. Let's have a look at some of them now. Second chance, picks it up. Around the member side wing he goes. Peter Knights. Out towards Bennett. Oh, he's got a bit of courage, this boy. Well, there's a bit of courage from McGee. Bennett again. He gets this will be a great goal. He's just missed it. Across to Manane. In towards Martello. Shocking kick. Finds Petura. Who scoops the ball away to Carter. There's kick number 11 to Noel Carter. He finds Wood. Half-back flank. Looking for uh, Miller. Good mark by Miller. Wide he goes. He finds Roach. Good kick in towards half forward to Carter. He missed his footing. It's McCarthy. Out to Moore. Beautiful tackle by Wood. A bit of cloud too from uh, somebody. McCarthy clears it away. Roach underneath it. Oh, what a great mark. Sheedy looking for Cameron Clayton. Tuck tries to get in there. Reigns and Bennett. Reigns does it well. His leg comes out to Edwards. He was a very polished player and is caught. It's a kick in to Rice of Hawthorne. That's number 13. Gets it across to Manane to uh, Polkinghorne going past. Very awkward looking kick into the centre half forward position and Henry diving again. Up goes Edwards. Still in possession. Does it well. Plenty of players around him. In towards centre half forward it goes. Picked up by Welsh. Cloak again. Welsh calls for no. It lines up at centre half forward. In towards the right pocket it goes. Rolling. Straight to Prince of Man. He's had an in and out uh, form season with board so far, but he's still in the side. The mark taken quickly by uh, by Tanner. The ball coming up towards the flank, grabbed by Cable. Went this way, that way. Gets the handball across. Or oh, a chain of handball is good. The brightest. He lines up and slams it through. Put them further in front, of course, because they're leading by five points at the 24-minute uh, mark. Oh, he didn't get much power into that kick, and it's marked across the line. But I think it's a goal. Well, I'd say it's a goal from where I'm sitting. I don't know what you think, David, but I agree. Baker again. Collingwood's margin is 14 points. And Baker no, knows all about it. Look at those. He hasn't put in a bad kick yet. Thompson again. Thompson marked well when the ball was uh, dry in the first uh, quarter in the first 10 minutes. This is Barham. Oh, and Al's ran him down. Barham's kicked to the goal square. Kink off his hands. Through. Touched. You're right, uh, David. They've certainly had the chances to make pies. Peter Moore out towards uh, Shane Bond, who... Slips through the pack. Carmen getting his first kick for the quarter. Turns, boots it. Hasn't got the distance. Dropped by Baker, picked up by Mon uh, Henshaw, rather. A flurry of arms and legs, and it's through. A kick by Carmen. With Collingwood support, though, Stan Magro back towards centre field. Henshaw backing into it. Another attempt at a one-hander by Henshaw. King tries to get it on for Collingwood. Plenty of uh, mistakes being made. Kink again to centre half forward. Peter Moore in front. Gumbelin. Wow, great mark. Scary Cowton is in this picture on the left of the screen. He's playing his 100th game since joining North in 1971 from Vanilla. Graham Anderson playing a good wet weather game. It's the hand pass going towards uh, centre a Great mark by Carmen. And Carmen, his fifth mark. Collingwood 43, North Melbourne 34. Carmen. 
straight through. This is Ian Cooper. Half back flank. Back towards centre wing. Terry Moore, knocked away by Ross Dunn. Down to Wayne Richardson. Put in a great game. Terry Moore. Kick was smothered. Ricky Barham cleverly forward to Rene Kink. Kink towards full forward. Carmen again. Well, he's certainly got the wood on uh, Stephen Ick now. Great pass in towards Anderson. Oh, Gumbleton was very close to the mark, but Graham Anderson read it well and played it cool. 35 metres out, 45 degree angle. Lines up for Collingwood's ninth goal, and he's put it through. Tar forward for Footscray for Usyk. Too far out to score. Sandilands up there with Hamilton, and at the back, Hampshire. Never looked like anybody else. It's not from the moment that Hampshire started to run towards the ball. So Ian Hampshire, about 10 or 15 metres from goal, and a chance for Footscray to go further in front. Second mark, fourth kick. No doubt. And that's Tom Flower. So Melbourne has Flower power towards centre half forward. And waiting behind intelligently, the hand pass comes once again to Fowler. Fowler the short one to Biffin in front. Beautiful football. Intelligent football. Biffin is 35 metres out and almost straight in front. Not the most reliable kick for goal, but he's got that one through and found the opening all right. Jim Polo for Melbourne to the centre wing. Baker tries to tap on, doesn't try to mark. Fowler was out, but the ball was in. Up towards the half forward flank. Dullard behind, taps cleverly on to Campbell. Campbell towards Biffin. Oh! Himself some sound of footing before kicking towards full forward. The lead was Sandal into the mark. Two finger trick. Murray short of the centre of the ground. Mark and play on quickly, but it's uh, intercepted now. Short pass towards centre half forward through Hardiman it now spills to Quinlan Sandilands Laurie Sandilands great goal fourth goal to Laurie Sandilands and Footscray took it from centre and with uh, Peter Hudson away Larry Donner Worthy good play he's turfed after he gets his kick but Wells is there he goes on runs into an open goal pops the goal and he's put it through And they aren't talking about the lemonade after the game either. What a delightful shot. Television at its best. Both of them have talked the legs off iron pots. Glenn James says, do you mind if you finish the discussion while I throw it up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the football almost secondary to that little confrontation. The bounce from umpire James. Backhander by Baker. Forward go Footscray again through Witten. Seven nine fifty one Melbourne. Footscray 15 12 102. Rigor Mortis is almost set into this game. Footscray breaking away. That's what you call a fairly stunned expression. Coming for Melbourne. Went pretty close and certainly did kick into a wheeler. Collins and the short pass to Lowe. Max Richardson, the magpie skipper, to take the free. Looking for Gordon again, dropping short. Oh, it plucked it in beautifully. Out to White. Wayne Richardson, dropping short. Kick, open goal, hand pass to Carmen. Filling its fourth goal. Picked up by Wayne Richardson. Moore. Moore! Barham. Max 
Max Richardson, Robertson to Mark. And down they go. Get in the way and over you go. Robertson. Back down the centre of the ground as a free oh. kick here, and this uh, nice old uh, stash on between Robertson and uh, and Moore. All about a um, Francis Burke keeping calm and out of the action, and it was because Moore attacked Robertson after he had kicked the ball. Magro's in there. Twiggy Dunn somehow manages to extricate himself from that, boot it into the goal square. Play on Moore. Tries to hook one back, and it's not a good one. Max Richardson, a goal. Royce Hart at centre half back. Beautiful drop punt towards half forward. Pickin. Well, that's picking him. Walsh taps it away. Burke, shocking tackle by Collingwood. Play on the call. Taken away by Carter up towards the half forward line. Cooper by himself. Loose man here. Pickett, whoops, a daisy. Thank you very much. Good battle down there between Hyde and Carter. Hyde wins out. Out to Pickett. Gordon is there for support. So is Wearmouth. Back to Pickett. Good football. In trouble. No, he's not. Burke. Sheedy. Well, there's danger here for, for uh, North Melbourne. Footscray about 25, 30 metres out from goal. Jennings first on the ball. Quinlan. There's Lowe again. Soccer. It's through. Great goal by Lowe. Look, Footscray really at the top of their form at the moment. Uh, certainly confidence running high. Sandy Lance in front, but knocked away by Dench. Very active into the hands of Jennings. Steadies shoots for goal and has no trouble at all in putting through Footscray's fourth goal. In camera who haven't and that's Jeff Jennings the hand pass to Quinlan who sneaked away from Blight the long hand pass towards Witten Witten the skidding kick has gone through for a goal Gary Cow to centre half forward is a good positional kick behind us Croswell the hand pass to Casson to Cable Cable into the open goal it's great play North Melbourne Ray Huppets infield Ted Witten did he grab the mark away from us he did Witten almost within scoring distance, about 50 metres out. Sandilands leading, Abbey ignoring, at least a Witten ignoring the lead, it's going to bounce free, it's a goal! Down to the flank, landing Dennis Collins' way, quickly across to Stoneham, Footscray fiddling and fumbling, too much handball as it comes back to Collins now, he's not so far out from goal, about 30 metres, they're still controlling it through uh, Perusic, and it's a goal! Tom Byrne being called back a metre or so to give Abby the chance to take the kick. He drives towards the half-back line, looking for Dempsey. Oh, it might have been taken out of his hands by Nolan. Good mark, Big Mick. He's rucked tirelessly today for North, for North, whereas Terry Moore for the past three or four weeks has been their top ruckman. Seven marks to him. Long kick, Dempsey. <laughs> mark number 10. Might just have been a 15-metre penalty. Now Tuck gets the football. Oh, look at that for a kick. Goal! Armstrong heavily disguised as Manchester. He plays it back in towards full forward. Jezzelink goes the sandwich in the pack, but does it splendidly. Jones grabs it with great delight. Olsen again for Carlton. Low kick, well done. Towns, Towns for Carlton to uh, Ashman. Ashman makes delightful space. And uh, is too far out to kick for goal, but sees the lead by Mackay. Jezelenko is there. Chance for Carlton. Good football. The goal is to Trevor Keogh, but five points of it went to Jezelenko. Short pass infield over the head of McClure to Olsen. Been a dominant player around the centre of the ground in the second quarter. A 15-metre penalty. The umpire called play on. Unmarked McKay. Scragged by Jewell at the last moment. Hudson is there. Whoops, you nearly got filled in with a football, young man. Dalf be nicely out with a spin turn. Armstrong. Wrong foots his opponent. Can kick either foot, Barry Armstrong. Swings it back into half forward. Ashman's in front. Where are the crumb gatherers? There's one of them. Well shepherded. Keo. Well, 
Gray takes the back position this time. Nobody gets the tap down. Whitmore, Hendry there, rolling, swooping. Shoots for goal. It's a goal. Well, it'll be Moore who had the opportunity. Off hands this time to Carmen. Got rid of the ball fairly quickly. Scooped out of the pack by Burke. Finds Bartlett and the Tigers out of trouble. But not for long because there's Magro again. A hand pass across to Barham. He's deep in the forward pocket. He kicked the goal from here in the first quarter. And he's done it again. Hudson's there with Jones again. Oh! Well, he ought to take a few more knocks if he takes marks like that after those. Well, maybe his head was in the clouds, but his body came up to join it then. through the hands of Hickmott, picked up by Wim out for Collingwood. Uh, as always, he loves to go for a dash. He's having a real dash this time, beautifully Shepard at two. He might even score a goal from here. He won't though because he's kicked it over the line and out of bounds. Hyde to come in. Robin still playing. Oh, oh the elbow! Yes, thank you very much. Should have been a free kick further up the field. It wasn't. Andrews! Kick off the ground. He's put it through! 55 metres out from goal. Andrews has kick it long and high. Crow is there too. Crow! Yes. Oh -ho. Covering every bit of 70 yards in front, Madden. To get at Wayne Richardson. Looking for Carmen. Scanlon behind him. But Carmen, a beautiful mark. Used close as the stepladder. A hand pass on to Barham, who loves that. And Barham dobs towards goal, and he's offline too. Out of bounds on the full. Max looking for the lead from Moore. And that's more like Collingwood system. Moore has got kink clear. Coming up uh, to Muir, knocked away, close runs into uh, Kink, Kink gets clear, the hand pass onto Anderson, Anderson the hand pass to Carmen and good night nurse. <laughs> Weir mouth for Collingwood, will duck and dodge and twist and turn and fire off the side of the boot, a beautiful shot for goal! Kick holding up just fractionally in the breeze, Crow's mark at centre half forward, he plays on looking for Andrews, he's out position Cooper, can't mark. And Cooper wins out. A handball across to Hyde, who runs straight into Crow. Andrews barges his way through. Nagel caught himself up in the forward pocket, screws it back in towards goal, and has missed. Manassa leads, but ignored by Worthington. Good long kick in, looking for Thompson. Van der Haar, what a mark! We've seen a couple of those today, not so much off the boot, but uh, just scooped along the ground, which haven't been paid. In towards uh, Max Richardson, he's in the pocket, lines up and bangs through, and Collingwood back in play. John Rantel towards centre. Barry Round backing into the ball, but it's beyond him. A lovely long kick, wasn't it, by Rantel? Dean takes the mark quickly to Shane Zantuck. A loose man set up by Colin Hounsall from 30 metres out, fires to South Melbourne's first goal, and he's put it through. South Melbourne 20, trailing Richmond 25. The 15 minute mark of the second term. Towards centre field. Plenty of scouts there for Richmond. There's Mervyn Kane, who had a great first term. Drops it on the boot, looking for Glenn Dixon. Nicely done, Rantel, but says South Melbourne defence under pressure again. Bartlett into the open goal, and Bartlett has scored. Good kick. Richmond shoulder to shoulder with those South Melbourne forwards. Woodman across quickly to Goss, a chance to score now. Steadies back in the old armchair. But only Brian Wood is there. Wood can't take the mark, but has all the time in the world to recover. And flank it out wide to Bartlett. Woodman knocked it away, but Bartlett's recovery. Wasn't that superb? Into the goal he goes. Beautiful kick by Bartlett. He's put it through. John Scarlett was there for South Melbourne. This is John Rantel with a clever handball to Scarlett, who swipes it back towards a teammate in Lambert. He goes to the deck, struggling. Gee, it's pretty hard. <laughs> Hard for the player going for the ball, isn't it? Again, it spills to Jampolo, paddles it upfield, but straight to Casson. Very high kick, short of the goal square. Brightus in front, touched it twice, but the mark not paid. It was well played by Byrne to Moore, 
And a putback taken upfield by Coswell. Sullivan's kick, short of centre wing. Smith there. Cowton, good mark. Nolan and Smith charging at each other again, but the bounce favours Big Mick. But once again, North tap down to Melbourne player. Reigns. Edwards. Rambo tackles him, but Edwards gets the kick to half forward. Neville Roberts. And away go Richmond. Not a good kick by Edwards. Pretty high, but cloaked very high. Sullivan. To half forward. At the back, McGee. Can't kick Coles. right foot. Bartlett. 30 metres in the clear, Bartlett. Bingo. And caught from behind. Reigns running onto it. Taps it upfield. Intercepted Sullivan. And now uh, Fowler. Brewer in the glue pot. Hooked it back. Carroll. Coles. At centre half forward. Wells. 40 metres out. Another handball. Davis. 20 metres out. And he goes. Up towards half forward for Richmond. Wingate fights hard for it. And now Sullivan. Carroll. Infield to McKellar. And the handball out wide to Robert Flower. Chance now for Melbourne. In the goal square. Goal by Norsworthy. Edwards in front. Bartlett. Wide open for Richmond now. Bartlett's kicked the full forward. Hurd's there. Bob Hurd. He could really show up in the statistics if he stays down there. Half back. Marchant. Marchant. Just inside the line. Brewer. Wells inside. Centre wing. Half forward now. Carroll. And Dullard, who's come out of defence, marks at centre half forward. Davis. Out in the pocket. Pretty indirect by Davis, but Norsworthy takes the mark. Baker for Melbourne. Melbourne have got this one parcelled up. They're just playing around with it. Wells. Sullivan. Roy Ramsey takes a kick for North. He won't make the mistake. He's keeping it well within bounds. Terry Moore, great oh. back flies and throw again. Gee, he's good, this boy. Not much of him. He's a little bit heavier this year than last year through a, a season at the gym. Oh, another high fly and Robert Close. Uh, well, Real chance now for North Melbourne to score. The ball only about uh, 30 metres out from their goal. Torbett got the tap away. Shark by Cable. Off hands though, back towards the centre half forward position. Picked up beautifully by Tanner. Tanner fires for goal and he's put it through. Great goal. Ah, Ick taking front position is good play. Hand pass back to Casson. Back to Nettlefold. Nettlefold revels in these conditions. Lovely pass to Tanner going by again. Tanner with the chance for his second goal is a long one. A great goal. Newcomer for North having trouble, doesn't know where to go at all, but Schimmelbush did, gave it a week running through, and North Melbourne looked good at the moment. A strong lead and a long lead by Crosswell. He ran 60, 70 metres end to market on the half forward flank, then immediately shoots it straight back from his, to his position. There a man short there, but luckily for them, it's Brightus. Oh, Watson gets a shove in the back as Ken Fletcher runs away with the ball. Good kick from Fletcher, that's a useful kick. Now, close. This is Stephen Ick with the football to kick it back into play. Essendon leading by 14 points into the time on period, second quarter. Vanderhaar in front. Free kick to Vanderhaar. The Essendon man is getting in front at centre half forward, and Blight is now his opponent. And Blight, instead of taking front position, is letting the youngster in. Vanderhaar almost within kicking distance. There's the kick. It's on its way. It's a goal! Right on the siren, a great goal by Vanderhaar. North Melbourne have to score goals in this quarter. They have uh, last use of the breeze, Essendon. There's Boyd again out marking Schimmelbush. And that's three good marks to Colin Boyd against Schimmelbush in this turn. A lot of uh, North Melbourne players down on form, David. You can pick it. Schimmelbush is one of them. No, he he uh, went well last week, but Ick's another. Oh, Max Crow flew up there like a bird. 
Towns. Free kick to Armstrong. McClure says kick it to me at centre half forward. He's going for a hand pass to Byrne. Now he can kick a goal from here if he can pick it up. And that's exactly what he's done. Norm Goss. Across the face of goal. Teasdale in there. Jones. Big punch by Canfield. Here's Ashman soccering. Coming up to meet at Armstrong. Armstrong has Byrne going past that beautiful play in football. Byrne looking for the lead from Walls. Walls in the front berth skids. Uses his body well. Rantel recovers well and is shoved over the line by Buckley. Nice. Carlton should have been more direct on that occasion. Looks like Morrison across to uh, O'Neill. O'Neill. Looking for Young. Do it. Allow Jackson to go through. Up towards round. Punched away by Jones. Goss. Quaid. Towards half forward. Oh, great mark goal. He's kicked three, coming in for goal number four. No, across the face of goal. Young! The mark's being played. Mom loses the footy. Wells, brilliant possession. Brewer goes for goal. He's dumped it. And Melbourne is in front. At that time, Dewar. Beautiful. Completely out of point him so far. Walls. Right forward pocket. Squares it towards Jezzelinko. Yes! Oh! Well, that's an old timer. I reckon he turned the clock back a couple of years for that one, Peter. Supporters of both teams uh, clapping Jezzelinko for that mark. Without any fear of contradiction, that has got to be the mark of the day. Fletcher tries to barge his way through. Umpires are certainly paying the player going for the ball. Oh, badly overrun by Robbins to Tanner. Good mark by Russell Muir, former North Melbourne player. Put it into the back pocket position very well. This is Madden. Oh, and Nolan going the other way. Could be a 15 metre penalty against uh, Nolan. Yes, there is. Holding on. Thank you. Be forced to kick towards this uh, side of the ground. Malcolm Blight in the middle of the pack to fly. Can't get it. Simon Madden in front. Now it's Gary Folds. Apologies. Folds from centre. Long kick. Looking for the high flyers. They're there. Madden. Great mark. Over the top of the pack. We're trying to get North Melbourne moving. Their play on game's been stopped because uh, they just haven't been able to get it going. Less than track North Melbourne's back line completely today. Right. Right. Essendon players with all the time in the world to get the ball away. This is Watson. Larry Watson towards Crow again and uh, close. Blight over the top of the ball. Tackled. Didn't have the football. And that's Stephen Ick. Back towards centre. Madden in front. Didn't he make position well against Cassidy? The first time really for the day. Ken Roberts on the ground in the Essendon forward line. Newton sharks that away from the ruck beautifully. And Newton... Up towards the Eston scoring zone. Madden in position. Oh, Madden's mark. Grabbed high as well. We'll play that as a mark. Madden really didn't get purchase on the ball. But now has a chance. Sends it back to full forward. In front, Collingwood. That'll be a mark. He gets his hands on it. He's one of the best marks in league football. And he's kicked a goal.
Long kick by Thompson. Dunn's there and Carmen. Kekovic over the top. Max Richardson. Goal. That is one hell of a goal. Mackay, where were you? And Walls for that matter. Punch forward by Pennell. Overrun by Pickett. Carmen to Max Richardson. Tunnel ball. Towns. Well played, Greg Towns. Pennell to half forward. All Collingwood. Robert Hyde. Mackay, the tackler. Centre of the ground. Magro. Great volley by Percy Jones. It's carried 60 metres. McClure. Nobody in the goal square. Has it got the distance? He needed a leg break. Carlton puffing. 15 points behind. Oh, there's a good mark by Barham. Says he'll kick it long. He's on the centre wing. Dead centre wing. 12th kick. He doesn't kick it very long. That hurt. Weir mouth under that pack. I'm more interested in Kekovic, who's writhing in pain. He fell very heavily. Look at him. Della. Thompson won the ball beautifully for Conningham. Weir mouth to kick for goal. No. Done. This time. So easy. And upfield, Thompson. Now Manassa. Half forward, Carmen with Southby. Oh, oh, great oh, oh. And teeth stolen from him. Handball away finds Elves. Elves, a long kick from half back. It's going to land at centre half forward. Nobody there. Yes, Melrose picks it up beautifully. Chips the ball in towards goal. And it floats in. North Melbourne's second goal. Beedy after the ball, as is Elves. That'll be an interesting deal between those two. Elves uh, being held Oops. by Sheedy. Professional <laughs> free kick. And they're on the ground having a little set too, also. <laughs> Look at Sheedy getting Sheedy. up and saying, how about a free kick up? I had nothing to do with that at all, he's saying. Absolutely nothing. This is Tanner. He's off. Centre half forward, Sutton. Monteith. Across the half back line to Clayton and Al. Shelves have been a dominant player today. Clayton, good mark. Roberts tries to take it out of the air. Cable straight up in the air it is. Keenan gets it back to Carter. Carter across goals towards Dench and Edwards. Both fighting for it. But Ick to back up again as he's done so many times today. Down to the centre wing position. Jarrett. A nice mark. It's got uh, Melrose clear in the centre. Melrose on to Alves. Alves down to Bridus. Bridus to straighten up and shoot for goal. Which he does and misses. Jarrett to Casson. Looking for Melrose again and finding him. Um, unfortunately, over the line and out of bounds. David Young towards centre half forward. South Melbourne moving the ball well round from behind this time. Couldn't take the mark. Kick back by Ian Miller towards centre field. Oh, great mark, Teasdale. In mean, league football for Wayne Duke. Does it very casually towards uh, centre half forward and a lovely mark taken by Alan Sinclair. And this is Zantuck, his opponent, to take the shot for goal. It will be South Melbourne's 12th if you can make the distance. The distance is OK. The accuracy, not quite. Off hands, Morrison in front. Having trouble finding out which way to go. Back to Goss. Now in the goal front again. David Young, the fly from behind, a beautiful mark. Not paid, no, man in front. Hanson was the man paid. Hand pass finds Brian Brown. Thompson with Scott again. Thompson on the ground, gets it to Max Richardson. Up forward, and a big punch away in defence by Steele. And now Moncrief's kick to centre wing, Martello. High kick to centre half forward, his fifth kick for the game, Martello. At the back, Henry. Snap for goal. Yes! Nice to centre half forward. Hudson in front of... Uh, of the pack, but the punch goes back to Matthews. Lovely shepherding allows Matthews straight in for goal number three for Hawthorne. And not a mark between them. Almost halfway through the second quarter. Centre half forward, Thompson's back there again, and Hudson from behind. Great mark, Peter Hudson. He plays on quickly, down towards the goal square. 
Well played, Barry Rowling. Snap for goal. Another Hawthorne goal. Not a really good pass. Rice out wide towards Payton. Behind us, Cooper, judging it far better. Payton looks a little bit like a fish out of water. Manasseh, been a grand player. Collingwood's best defender, and there have been plenty of them. Towards half forward. Off hands. Kink going into an open goal. Collingwood seven points up. Henry going past. Henry is free. Pass, centre wing he goes. Up towards the half forward line. Directs it back towards centre half forward. Looking for Hudson, who's behind this time. Are there some scouts? There are. There's Payton and there's Rawlings and Payton into the open goal. The hard work, a lot of hand passing. Oh, Wayne Richardson dropped an easy one. Allows Mike Tuck in. Tuck charging up towards centre half forward. Fires for goal. Can Hudson mark it? It's beyond the pack and it's bounced through. A goal. Well played, David O'Halloran. Centre wing, Knights. Ede. Ede to centre half forward. Henry. Rollings. Caught. Great, brilliant tackle by Barron. And now uh, Matthews. Henry again. Play on. This is tough football. And now a chance for Payton. He gets it back to Ede. Short pass out wide and Trot is unmarked in the pocket. Stewie Trot, who replaced Kevin Ablett in the selected 18. Trot short pass, Matthews. What a beautiful pass. Is it well? Vanderhaar, Wilson, now end up with Marsh. Squares it. In towards Watson. Oh, great mark. Oh, oh. ball going to Robert Walls. Now he's in the centre of the ground with a breeze and he doesn't make a mess around with that kick. Straight down on McClure who's broken away from uh, on an almost a good mark and then grabbed by Ray Byrne. 30 metres out and Carlton's run of luck for kicking the goal. Still there. Up to half forward looking for Van der Haar again. Punched away by Heath. Coming through is Primer. He lines up and he's put it through. The bounce to the centre. This time Crow went it. Quickly taken away by uh, Mansfield. Across to Van der Haar. Van der Haar with a short kick. Across to Watson. And across the top to... Oh, Magnum. He'd be very close to putting his boot. Played some useful football in the back pocket for the Dons this season. He brings it out towards McDonald, number 43. But he threw from the back. Jess has got it. Brings it across towards Walls. He didn't get it either. Buckley running through there. His man was having a go. Wings round. Lines it up, shoots for goal, and he's put it through. Eston trailing 49 to 58, and it's a bad kick. Dropping in the goal square, off the hands, Madden, straight through. Bruce Stuhl comes into it, fiercely grabs it. But he's a great player, this fellow. Beautiful kick to the forward pocket. Tore it up high, but who's that? He's grabbed it, it's uh, Serafini. Marsh landed right in his lap. Across to Roberts. Plenty of power in this kick and get it right up towards the goal square to Crow. Oh, oh beauty! Well, if that was a bad pass from O'Neill, that was an equally bad one from Stoneham. Down the ground to Smets. The ball drops uh, short to Danaher. He's in there battling for it as is Smets. Picked up by Quaid, who wins the hard one. There are two South Melbourne players here Hoffman and Dempster. And Hoffman elects to mark and take the pot shot. Jim Edmonds' kick is not a long one. Teasdale in great position. O'Neill comes thumping into him. Great hand pass McLeish to Jackson. Teasdale Ooh, on the ground. What a big kick of Jackson's. Dempsey, beautiful judgment. <coughs> beautiful judgment against his old teammate, Barry Round. Barry Bryson goes straight up the centre of the ground. He does so to centre half forward. And there's Teasdale and Dempsey again to play. But Dempsey, Teasdale will take the free kick for pushing the back. Could just about kick it from here. Drives it up into the goal square. It's screwing back up there. It's he over did. players' heads. And a goal. O'Neill to kick off again. Round calling for it. And Round would, should mark it. Oh, been a bit. Tom Pudney to have been picking raisins off his face for the next month. To uh, Witten, who was a good player in the first quarter. Gets clear and hooks back in a goal and goals. His second. Angle. Not the good Dean kick. He's looking for the leap of Dempster. Oh, round. Beautifully done. Hand passes across to Jackson. Jackson slips, recovers. 
Back where Teasdale and Dempsey. Dempsey almost took that one. Teasdale, lucky bounce favours him. Barry Round rushes past power across to Hoffman. Hoffman can run in about 20 or 30 yards and then give it to Dempster. Dempster says, thank you, my goal. Bang. Well played, South Melbourne. Then here's the hand pass on to Collins. Collins uh, bubbles it. He'll get out of it, though, or will he? Yes, he does. And then recovers with Dash. He's got Hoffman after him, and he's caught. He goes clear again. Looking for Dunstan. And finds Ted Wick. Still in South's attacking or offensive zone. At left half forward for them. Dempsey from the back, round from the front. To Browning. Browning out to Bryce. Bryce to straighten up and boot it into the goal square, which he does. De uh, Dempster's going to let it go through. It's a goal from back Gary Bryce. Gee, there's not many kick longer than that. Look at Gary Bryce. I think he's quite happy about that one. <laughs> Longhand pass to Rantel. He's got two players clear here, one of whom's Morrison, who will mark. Morrison has Bryce free. And centres the ball. Robert Dean gets the body in nicely again. Oh, magnificent mark! between half-back and centre wing. Curling ball down to Barry Rollings. Knocks it away from Robert Hyde to John Henry. Back to Rollings. Rollings a shot on goal. It'll be a great goal if he can score it. It's coming in, it's a goal! What a beautiful shot by Barry Rollings. Now Cooper, Cooper back towards centre half back. Looking for Anderson, Richardson tries to trap it. Good play, Magro. Didn't have the ball. Oh, nice one going past from Ricky Quaid, and Magro takes the free kick. Ian Robinson, the umpire, having a word to uh, Quaid further downfield as Magro sends Collingwood forward to Kink. Beyond to Ray Shaw, Kink running onto the ball, kicked off the ground by Jackson. Jackson, too much uh, pace for Kink. Comes out wide with the hand pass to Bryce. Great, great. Bryce, short kick, lovely one to Mark Browning. And Browning, the state representative for South, for, uh, South Melbourne, and a free kick, a 15 metre penalty, will take uh, Browning 15 metres down, but he didn't want to take it. Morrison, South Melbourne, very quick to get boot to ball. Off hands now. Thompson, good play by Thompson. Robert Hyde into the centre, beyond centre. Jackson and behind McLeish. Bryce out wide to Morrison. Gets there just before Magro, but took his eyes off the ball. Marshall close to the line. He was out of uh, bounds, but the ball wasn't. Gee, it's rapid football. Half forward. Anderson. Gee, trapped it brilliantly. Peter Moore, chance. Good mark. Cleverly done. Gets the hand pass going to Young. And Young will have another run. He had one in the first term, which resulted in a goal. Young on to Hoffman. Hoffman with plenty of time to show, shoot for goal. That could be the first goal for South in the term. It's not. Well, Goss has had 16 kicks and Hoffman only seven. So it's 23 to 34. Now, Kink, who's been a real match winner for Collingwood. Oh, dummies the hand pass. He can almost score. He's running up to within about 45 metres from goal. This is sensational football by Kink, and he's missed. There, Magro let it go. Hyde, stumbling, but still gets the hand pass to Barron. Barham's been a match winner for Collingwood. Sets up the hand pass beautifully for Hyde. Hyde has a Barham going outside him for support. Hyde can score from here. The back pocket player fires for goal. And it's a behind. John halfback flank. And the enthusiastic Peter Welsh to centre wing. Punched on by Martello. Tuck gathering. Looking for Hudson. No. Balloons it up in the air. It's a one-on-one -on -one here. And Hudson does it. 
He'll get rid of it in time, which he does. Looking across the centre half forward position, in comes Hardiman and takes another spectacular mark. His fourth. Does the ball trick? Boots it up into the goal square towards McKellar and Moncrief. McKellar! Martello wins the bounce. Hardiman knocks it in the direction of Flower, who's caught. Steele picks it up nicely. Barges his way clear, looking for Payton. Payton will score a goal here if he's straight, and he is. Burn. Rolling, shoved off the ball. Hardiman, that suspicious-looking punch over there. Wells racing to Campbell. Straightens up and shoots for goal. And puts it through. Reasonable initiation into a ruck play today. Scott at the back. Aussie Byrne and here's Moore. He'll be shepherded by Moncrief. Kicks up in the trot direction and Tom Flower and a nice mark. Going the same way as the ball. Kicks it straight back down the centre of the ground and Don Scott's got the run on it. Davis in front. Davis can give it across to Tom Flower. Tom Flower's got the run of it if he gets a nice bounce. He can have a shot for goal. He goes for the run and shoots for goal and puts it through. And second. Takes the kick on the half-back flank. Into centre-half forward. Knocked away from Barr. Picked up by Ashman for Carlton. A little short kick into towards centre-half forward. The ground's very dry. The ball bouncing well. Clearing kick by Malthouse. Picked up by Young. The long kick quickly going to goal. Put the brakes on. Robert Wall shepherded it through. And it's Carlton's first goal. 40 metres out. And there's his kick. Oh, and a great grab there on the goal line by David Mackay. Between the centre and centre half forward position, he goes for a beautiful shot across the wing there towards Wood. Wood who's swung across wings then. And he goes after Bruce Bill. Well played, Bill. In towards the uh, centre. But Francis Burke, the custodian, the captain of the back line, drives him into attack once more. And Mackay is taken yet another mark. Be taken quickly by Buckley. Buckley towards Mackay. Best chance, tallest. Changes direction, has a look. The only bloke to go to was Mervyn Kane, the back pocket player who marked only metres away. Then he goes through the centre. Richmond mixing the play of a bit long kicks, handball, uh, short kicks. Kick there by Francis Burke to put them into attack. And the shot out of the pack. Roberts, and he's done it again. Bam. Reigns, ball went right through him. Wood, McClure, Sheldon, he'll go for goal. Reigns up from a long way out and has put it through. Sheldon making position at centre half forward beautifully. Out to Armstrong. Lines up from 55 metres out from goal and has put Martin in front. Jones, easily, no one with him. Roberts for Richmond, boots him into attack. Desperate mark, great mark, Jim Jess. He's a sensational player, this fellow. That's his fifth mark for the match. Kick the goal. Come around the other side of the ground to take... A little short kick in towards centre-half forward. The ground's very dry, the ball bouncing well. Clearing kick by Malthouse, picked up by Young. The long kick quickly going to goal. Put the brakes on. Robert Wall shepherd it through. And it's Carlton's first goal. Well, Jim, the Iranians dropped a bit of a bombshell when they arrived, accusing the Australians of tra taking drugs. What's it, what's it all about? Um, I think really the, the main problem is, uh, Drew, that they're, they're frightened of us. Um, there's no doubt about that in my mind. And uh, I think they're a little bit amazed at our performances in the World of Soccer Tournament. And uh, I think in, in, in the translation and the, in the reports that were sent across to Iran, uh, I think it gave the impression that, uh, that we had played 90-minute matches without any break at all against these sides. 
Um, what I didn't add was that the, we, we then went out and did a training session afterwards as well. Um, no, they're, they're frightened of us, and it's, it's something to, to try and, and stir up a little bit of um, uh, feeling and try to get us agitated. But Engaging in a bit of psychological yeah, warfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't affect us. Is there much of that going on in football? Um, I honestly wouldn't know because uh, it's something that, that doesn't interest me. Um, in World Cup level, uh, it's routine that all teams are, are tested after the game. Two players are picked out at random, and uh, this is a routine procedure. Um, drugs are used, of course, in, uh, in helping to cure injuries and get players back on the park as quickly as possible. Um, but stimulants, I suppose some, some players do use them, I suppose some countries do use them. But we certainly don't, and uh, I have no intention of using them. So it's not a worry that the FIFA representative uh, arrives today and uh, is going to look into it? No, oh, you know, we, we were quite willing to uh, have the usual couple of players tested at random, and uh, I think we were politely asked that a couple of players be tested as well. It's just routine, and it doesn't worry us at all. Well, talking about the world of soccer tournament, the Australians went really well, and what was pleasing to most fans was that the Australians were able to stick goals in the net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've played about 38 matches now since I took over, and I saw them play several times before that. And I think out of over 40 matches, um, there are only three occasions where we failed to find the net. Um, so that if you're taking part in any sort of competition, there comes the time when you're going to win matches to, to qualify. To win matches, you've got to score goals. And we have shown that uh, against any kind of opposition, even when we're not playing well, we can't hit the back of the net. Um, and therefore, that obviously breeds confidence among the team. And uh, if you look at the results over the past three or four weeks, then uh, things are looking fairly good on that side. Obviously, it's important to beat Iran here when we have to play them on their ground later on. But is it important to build up uh, a big goal percentage here? Uh, not coming wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> A win, uh, win for us on Sunday will mean not only two points for us, but they'll have dropped three points then. Um, so they can only get a possible 13 out of a possible 16. Um, stick a, a couple of goals, two or three goals in past them. Um, that's almost worth another point, or it could be worth another point, uh, come the end of the series. So the first priority for us is to win the match. Um, and I think if we set our stall out to play our football, we will win. And I think if we do that, the goals will really look after themselves. They will come, and it's just a question of making sure we knock a couple in. So you're out to get uh, the points in the home matches and then worry about the away games later on? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, let's get these over first, particularly this Sunday. Win this Sunday, then we'll start worrying about what comes next. Obviously, Iran are going to stack their defence, and it's going to be pretty hard for you. Yeah. In fact, uh, when teams playing away play like that, is it really such an advantage to be playing at home in Australia? Um, it's an advantage against the Asian teams uh, because they don't like coming here. They are frightened of us. Um, they're not particularly good performers away from home. Psychologically, they're not that good. Um, but they do present problems. The problems being that they, they play very defensively and, and they can frustrate you. And the other problem is if, uh, if we don't settle down quickly, the crowd can become impatient. Uh, in fact, this happened in Adelaide against Hong Kong. Although we ran out 3-0 winners, the crowd became impatient early on. So there are problems, but uh, uh, th those problems are not really that big when you consider the advantage we do have in, in playing before uh, at home against these sides. They don't like coming here, you know, and, and they would much prefer to play us on their own grounds. Do you consider yourself the top side in the Asian uh, tournament and say so that the opposition has to worry about you rather than you yeah. worrying about them too much? Yeah, I said this is, uh, as long ago as last October, and uh, our tour through Asia, which was my first experience of playing uh, in Asia, in national competition, only reinforced that fact. Um, we are the best side in Asia, and if we put it together on the day, we are by far the best side in Asia. Uh, and I said the, o the only problem that I've got is to make sure that the lads do it on the day. If we produce our stuff on the day, um, we'll beat these sides, home and away. And have you got any problems with the side on Sunday? Um, not at the moment. I think um, we'll be looking again to settle down um, quicker than we've settled down in our matches. It took us over half an hour to settle down against New Zealand, and we even let them score a one in the second minute. It took us about 20 minutes to settle down against Hong Kong. Uh, once we settled in those games, then we, we did our stuff and we scored three goals in each game. Um, so I'll be hoping that we settle down a little bit quicker on Sunday, um, get in, into, into the rhythm, um, and if we do that, then I've got no worries, really. Any idea what the score might be? 
No, no, I'm not too bothered about the score, but uh, it'll be a win for Australia. Have you been pleased with the support you've been getting from the Australian crowd this year? Um, luckily, yes. Um, to be quite honest, uh, as someone coming in from uh, a country where um, where people are noted for supporting the, their home team, um, I was a little bit taken aback at uh, the fact that most of the matches we played in Australia, um, most of the crowd was shouting for the opposition. Um, but over the last few weeks, uh, we've we've proven that we can perform well against the best and only not only can we perform well but that we can play entertaining football and the crowd have very quickly got behind us once we've shown that so on Sunday again we'll be looking to uh, to win the match and to win the match in an attractive way and I'm sure if we if we set our stall out to do that the crowd will be will be really uh, right behind us and that'll lift the lads even further done magic okay Terrific. No problem. I had, I had strict instructions. It had to go three minutes. I thought, oh, I'll bugger it back and edit it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Right, so uh, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll do all the talking. It's as though I'm asking the questions and uh, you know, they can use it as a cutaway later on. But, uh, you know, I spoke to the bloke on the phone yesterday and he said, uh, oh, you give us two, three minutes maximum. But I thought, well, I'll keep going because... Uh, you know, you're going well, since they've got the time to uh, edit it all, uh, that'll be good. Um, so I'll just uh, keep uh, rattling on here until uh, they reckon they've got enough to use as a, as a cutaway. Um, and I hope you kill them. Great. Yeah. yeah. Nice and bright. Yeah, there these summers again. We'll do a chat mm -hmm. chat and all that. Mm. Great game and all that. <laughs> So. Hmm. Right Thanks, Evan. Stop it. Terrific. The wooden spoon last year, and completing the five, Hawthorne, North, Richmond, and South getting in at the last hurdle, out go Carlton for the first time in the season. Footscray and Geelong finalists last year, finishing in seventh and eighth places. Fitzroy with their win over Geelong, one for Kevin Rose, who was coaching there for the last time, and St Kilda down on the bottom, winning the wooden spoon for the first time since 1955. Now have a look at uh, some of the highlights that we haven't seen already from our three matches. Good play and so much was happening. I won't do any guesstimates. The umpire was close. McLeish out wide. Teasdale once again. Well, his opponent Jackson. Jackson a long one down to centre half forward where it's going to be Henshaw battling for it with two to one oh, against him. Beautiful Mark, Mark Dean. Dean. A beautiful great Mark. mark as he ran with the flight of the ball. For North Melbourne with this wind. No, it's not. As Round gets up in front for Crosville. Picked up by Round, and by the roar, it was close. It was through. It's looking for uh, Nolan. Round appearing on the scene in front and marks. It's got to be a front man mark, that one. And that was well intercepted by Barry Round. Let's see what he can do this time. Certainly still within kicking distance. But it's not going to make the scene. Oh, Gumbleton, a beauty! Back to Hoffman. Hoffman has Browning free. Browning has Bryce overlapping and decides to kick. Oh, lovely mark by Danaher. Lovely mark by Danaher. The throw in, in North's attacking zone. Brightest going in for North Melbourne. Slips it over his head, but it's Rantel he'll recover. Umpire Della in a perfect position to mark, which he can't do. It claims it beautifully. Barrels it back into the goal square. Up there is Baker to Davis. Down he goes. A goal. A high tackle after his serve. Uh, oh, gee, that picked the goal. Sells the dummy. Comes back looking for Blight. Blight and Ick. Uh, that was good football, Malcolm Blight, to let uh, Stephen Ick go past because he had the run of the ball. Baker and Scarlett again. Oh, a, ma a magnificent mark. A one-hander by John Scarlett. And now Southby. Been in everything in defence. Keogh. Inside half forward. Jezelenko and Mackay. Carlton doing well enough against the breeze. Footscray have only had three scoring shots for eight points. Dempsey in front. Mackay the ride from behind. Beautiful mark, Mackay. Oh, right. good handball. Southby. Long kick to centre half forward. McClure's there. 
Oh, wow, nearly a great mark. Knocked away from Witten. Clear to Byrne. Handles it well. On to Buckley. Buckley through the centre. Now looking for Jesselenko, who led well. Flies the mark to Jesselenko. Quinlan's kick. A boomer. Inside half forward. Reeds there. Hasn't had a touch yet. Austin tackled high, but play on. Snapped out of the pack is a goal. Looking for McClure. McClure edges. Oh, that's a great mark. Beautiful mark by McClure. Oh, bad kick by Huppets. Stoneham. Dunstan. Long high kick by Dunstan is coming back. Oh. Here's a goal. Eight minutes gone in the final term. Over the head of Foreman. Edmund. Now Foreman. An open break for Footscray. Mackay chasing hard. Foreman straightens. Inside half forward. Hampshire's down there with Reed. Off hands to Huppets. A goal will nearly clinch it for Footscray. In the goal square. Munro. Byrne, Ray Byrne, the five from behind. But oh, in front, standing his ground well was Dunstan, who's been a star. A ruck roving star for Footscray. Up towards uh, the goal front. Munro again, great position. Trip. Biffin. That's not a bad goal if it's true. It is. Oh. Five metres out from goal. And look at the way the wind bent that ball around. Down towards Moore, who's not marking well. Oh, shot by Atkinson. It's good stuff. Straight through. Oh, right in the arms. The welcome arms, the waiting arms of Bill Pickin. Looked like a pretty good pass. It wasn't. Cowan again. Court seems slow. Here goes Ray Shaw with Collingwood now. The handball across to Anderson. Ducks around the man on the line. Shaw's just slipped behind him and boots one straight through. Carmen with it. He doesn't know what to do with it. He knows what to do with it now as he gives it across to Graham Anderson. Look at him stride past him. He does it so easily in a backwards, a backhand handball to Ray Shaw. In the pocket. Goal number three. It's a shin shot there. Clever play by Tom Flair to beat uh, Wayne Gordon. And Carmen doing his own shepherding. Throws it out. He's running the wrong way, of course. He'll have to give a hand. He won't have to give a hand at all. And this is a bit of, a bit of a, the best of Carmen. Here he goes. That's really fair to pop. Great passage of play. It's Carmen's football. Across towards uh, Ireland. A shot for goal by Ireland. It came unstuck. Magro. Wearmouth. Magro. Like a little ferret getting out of the ball. Thompson having a rest in the forward pocket. Campbell, Thompson, across to Anderson, and this will be his second goal. Well done by Anderson. Well, there was some great football there, and what a wonderful season we've had. It's interesting to uh, look at the grounds there after such a wet winter, when the grounds took such a hammering, don't they look bare now at the end of the season? Well, now looking at the goal kickers, and Peter Hudson is attempting uh, or coming up towards his fifth century in VFL football, but he's still one short going into the finals. He kicked seven on Saturday for a total of 99. Hawth uh, Hawthorne have the Quinella. Lee Matthews, with his six on Saturday, has 82 for the season, and that's the most goals ever in VFL history by a rover. And Lee Matthews certainly must be odds on for the Brownlow medal on Monday night. Larry Donahue of Geelong finishing equal third with two on Saturday. But it's a far cry from the century that he kicked last year. Peter Moore of Collingwood also 63. Bob Beecroft kicked seven on Saturday to get to his 59. George Young four, Rex Hunt two. And Kevin Bartlett, the Richmond Rover, is also a top goal-scoring rover in the competition. Five on Saturday for his half century for the season. Now let's look at the mark of the day, and it's Phil Baker of North Melbourne. On to Gumbelland going past. Gumbelland over in the blight direction. Casson in there. Light can't pick it up, but he knocks it nicely to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush with the baker from behind. Soared like an eagle. A top mark, and he kicked a goal to cap it off. Now to next week's matches, and we're into the finals and two finals games. The elimination final at VFL Park between Richmond and South, and the qualifying final between second and third teams Hawthorne and North Melbourne at the MCG. Well, what a build-up we've had to the final series. Uh, it's been a great season in qualifying matches. Hope you'll be with us again next week for our finals matches. We leave you with the goal of the day, which was certainly South Melbourne's most important for the season, Graham Dempster. Dempster Nicely sport by Quaid. His kick 
Doesn't cover much distance, but taken by Round in a flash. It's out wide. To Morrison. To Morrison, down to centre half forward. Dempster. And Dempster's a long way out, but the breeze behind him, a really good one, could easily make the distance. Hold it up, says everybody. Hold it up. Graham Dempster, who's kicked very accurately. Long, 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 straight kick. South Melbourne have hit the front. <laughs> Short of the centre of the ground. Rice for Hawthorne and Blight. Blight gets the handball upfield. Chopped off by Polkinghorn. Hudson again. This could be a goal. A great goal to Hawthorne by the half-back flanker. And a lead across the other side of the ground from Kevin Abbott. And there he goes with Owls running past him. But both of them go. Hit the turf. A good pick up by Peter Knight. Who pops up there. Heads away. Boots it right through. For goal number four. There's uh, Henshaw getting the ball across towards Blight. He sends it across towards the other flank. North Melbourne with a chance. Terry Moore, 35 metres out, pushed as he takes the kick. But it's a goal. Matthews, Jarrett marking Matthews today. He's the player with the ball, but it's over the line. And there will be a throw-in in front of that ecstatic outer crowd. And uh, Jeff Polite, he's a reserve umpire moving on, so I suspect there's some trouble there. There is, of course, with Ian Robertson, is it? Is uh, leaving the field. Well, nothing well, visibly wrong with Ian Robinson. It's a very interesting move, isn't it? We'll know at the end of the game, of course, the reason. But a, a suspicion of a limp about uh, his walk there. Knights is there at the back. No mark taken. Terry Moore. Shot for goal. Is close. Oh, oh. Kelvin Moore. Picked up by uh, O'Halloran, playing a very cool game. Booted towards the wing. Oh, great mark there. Schimmelbush. Knights goes past. Good pass to Rice at centre wing. Hendry going goalwards. Centres the ball for Matthews, who stumbles oh. and then recovers. North defence under a lot of pressure. Hawthorne bombarding the goals. Hudson claims it and is paid. Croswell holding his hands, asking for the free kick. O'Halloran over the top to Polkinghorne, going past his Rollings. Back to uh, Moncrief, Rollings. Great chain of football by Hawthorne. Rodney in. Back to centre half four. The Hawks in attack. He won't get it. Nolan chases. This is Kevin Ablett this time, opening up. Hudson right deep back in the finish. It'll make the distance. It is. Not a goal for the Hawks. On he goes, Scott. Right up towards the goal square. Hudson again against Dick. Hudson in front. There's a chance now for uh, for Morrison. Across it goes from the throw to Sheedy. Sheedy across to Cloak. Cloak centre wing. Plenty of time as the big fellow. A long one downfield. And in front was Noonan. Chance for Roberts. Roberts turns onto his left foot. Or is it Noonan, Noonan. with his left foot? A beautiful kick and it's straight through the centre. That's the kick to Rantel. It's centre half back. Straight down the centre. Looking for Round and McGee. Round, superb judgment for South Melbourne. Oops. Gets it a long way across towards O'Neill. O'Neill threads it back to Elliott. Elliott over to Jackson and South finally out of trouble if Jackson kicks. He does, only because his opponent fell over. Dean's in there. But in front of the pack, a beautiful mark, Ricky Quaid. Hoffman in towards half forward. It's all Richmond at this stage. Reigns played superbly since quarter time. Lost at that time, though. Kane, a good pickup. Burke, out to Monteith. Almost a rugby formation there. Monteith steadies. Noonan. Looking for Dunn. Neville Roberts backing into the pack. Takes oh. a good mark. Comes in with a shot for goal from 45 to 50 metres out. It's going a long way. It's drifting across and won't quite get there. Still in play. Scarlett. Reigns for Richmond comes back into the centre of the ground. Oh, lovely diving mark by Malthouse. This is kick number 15, I think, to Chris Elliott, which is a good performance for a young player. Down it goes. Underneath it was Burke. A chance for Morrison, who's been another great kick getter. Morrison high on there, did nothing with that one. Brian Woods in position, good mark. Finally, Elliott. Oh, and Petura allowed to run wild. Doesn't he like to run too? Drives it out looking for Noonan and finding him. Noonan quickly uh, on towards goal. 
boots it up here's Cloak and Danaher again a one-on-one -on -one. Roberts over the shoulder and not there Cloak again Jackson Jackson it was back to the center of the ground at all Richmond nobody at home except young Jeffrey Rains 21 year, 21 year older boots it downfield all easily thank you for Richmond's Roberts across it goes to Wood Wood will shoot for goal into the teeth of goal cloak from behind cloak from behind didn't he have the most the ubiquitous Mr Sheedy and here's Gary Bryce to take it centre wing member side of the ground it's 15 minutes almost 16 minutes into the final quarter and uh, Richmond having it pretty well sewn up and the juggler there David Cloak wasn't he happy big broad smile from Cloak from the uh, most spectacular mark we've seen today from 50 metres out it's a wobbly kick once more it's dropping short a mark by Moore taken by Davis over his head going awfully close oh what a freak goal beauty Hudson trying to lead from the goal square. Closely tagged by Dench. Tuck's kick. A beauty right into the goal square. Hudson's there. Oh. Great mark, Peter Hudson. And this should be goal 100 for the season coming up. Gee, he was under a lot of pressure from a number of North Melbourne defenders. And from his first touch in the final series for 1977, Peter Hudson, a chance for his 100th for the season. Yes! His fifth century in VFL football, and what a wonderful return he's made from Tasmania. And in 1968, he kicked 125. On, on Saturday. Now let's look at the highlights of the two games that we haven't seen already. Throw in in the forward pocket. Collingwood into attack. Scott and Tuck up against each other. Carmen a chance. Over his shoulder. It's close. It's a goal. Tuck who's recovered brilliantly from that knock from Carmen. He's kicked to centre wing. It's all Hawthorne there. Kevin Ablett. Not a good handball to Ede. Ede over the top. Back to Kevin Ablett. Centres the ball. Hudson's there. And he's a chance at the back for himself. Got tackles. Hudson handball to Hendry. Comes in for his third goal. John Hendry. Five minute mark, second term. Thompson, Scott, Lash again. Scott's taken four free kicks from Thompson. The centre bounces so far. There he goes with the ball now. Superb player, wonderful leader, but gave it to the wrong player in Wearmouth for Collingwood. He kicked it down towards the forward pocket to Shaw. That's a good mark. Clever mark to Ray Shaw. But Manasseh coming right down from the half back line to take that mark at centre half forward. Kick falling short. It only goes about 40 metres with the mark taken by Peter Moore. Starting to play a lot better. Lovely kick too. Two kicks from there to half forward. Collingwood over the top goes Knights. Oh, and down goes Knights at the hands of uh, Max Richardson. Let's wait. Uh, Ross Dunn in. Peter Welsh going back. Peter Moore. Coming up for his third kick, unselfish hand pass. Barham in the goal square as Anderson is it. No, it's way sure. Sure a goal to Collingwood. And Kevin Ablett with the free kick into play for Hawthorne. Long kick right towards the goal square. Hudson up there. Mark to Peter Hudson. Across towards a half forward line for Collingwood. Picked up now by Peyton, now playing in the back line. He gives it to Rowlings, who ducks around the man on the mark, puts his foot on the gas. A beautiful pass down to Hendry. He spilt it. Wearmouth pounces in. Played a great Rovers game today. Certainly motivated that Collingwood side all around the ground to Magro. He waits for uh, Richardson to move into, into position. Across to Barham now. Barham running down the half forward line. A short kick to Carmen. And Carmen moved in nicely to take it. 
He's kicked the ball further than anyone on the field today. And that's no exception. Look at that one go. Right up towards the half-forward flank to Scott, who punched it away, wanting for the Rovers to pick it up. He gets it down towards uh, full forward to Marker Matthews. Probably deserved it after that great run down the outer side. Barham's kick in front was calm and no mark. Weirmouth. Acute angle. A freak goal by Ron Weirmouth. Gone in this first quarter. Done in front of Keenan. Palms it behind beautifully to Noonan. But unlucky there. Gumbleton. Out to count to Montgomery. Dench. Ton of room here. Has a good look. Sees Brightus. Finds him beautifully. Hit towards Croswell. Too far. Cloak. All he could do. Sheedy and Cloak, but will go in the wood direction. Sheedy making yards. Now he's got to run and draw the play. He does. A hand pass to Brian Wood. Gets a favourable bounce. Wood down towards Edwards and Cowton. A one on one and a beautiful mark. Edwards straight on to Roberts. Roberts straight for goal. And he's popped it through for the first major ball. Likely on the member side of the ground. An awkward bounce, a bad bounce. Roberts was a man, Gumbleton with it. Out to Bartlett. Bartlett misses an awkward one. Recovers well, slips. Across it goes to Walsh. Walsh to Burke. Burke back to Baum. Baum, magnificent hand pass to Reigns. And Reigns' kick is off line. An unexpected pull back in Darrell Sutton, who's choosing the grandstand side, where Keenan and Baum will contest. Keenan behind. Across it goes to Alves. Alves been a very good player, some lovely handball. Out to Johnny Byrne. A long hand pass to Blight, an awkward one. Back it goes to Cable. Cable in trouble. Across to Montgomery. He's still in trouble. Gets his kick and boots it down. Here it is, Brightus. A beautiful mark, Brightus. Keenan and Jess. Down to Bartlett. There's Jarrett. Oh! Not a bad goal by Bartlett. <laughs> Montgomery being uh, retarded. He plays on a mile over the mark. In towards uh, Croswell, into Brightus. Brightus breaks a tackle across to Casson. Casson in towards uh, Davis, and Davis bangs it through for North Melbourne's cross. And now to the mark of the game. Right. This is the best of his five grand. Yes. You could see there. Uh, but the mark that we've picked out is the one by Stephen Ick, whose performance was spectacular for North Melbourne. This is the best of his five grabs. Brightus, it's in a half forward. Brightus, not quite. Davis got in the way, I thought, there for a second. Recovers well. Out to Blight again. Cow, no, it's Cassin. He's a ten and a half forward. Ick. Oh! Great mark, Stephen Ick. And what a good one it was. Now to next week's game, the preliminary final between Hawthorne and North Melbourne. Which was North's first and only premiership. Well, Hawthorne's superiority includes last year's grand final victory. Uh, so, usually last week out of a North at the MCG, uh, whether North have a better chance uh, at VFL Park, and they certainly improved on Saturday with their performance over Richmond. We hope you'll join us next week for our preliminary final program and another in the series of matches between Hawthorne and North Melbourne. We leave you with the goal of the day, and it would have done Pele proud. Richmond's Kevin Bartlett. Keenan and Jess. Down to Bartlett. There's Jarrett. Oh! Not a bad goal by Bartlett. Oh, not a bad one at all. Ten, Matthews 91 and Hendry 52 and they've kicked 253 for the season between them. The only one in that list who plays next week who can add to his score is Peter Moore of Collingwood with 68 for the season. Well now look, let's look at the mark of the day and uh, you've already seen something of him earlier in the program. Phil Baker who took 12 marks and this is the best of them. Been one of the very best men on the ground. Manoeuvres for position, beats him, beats another one. Off he goes and delivers it right downfield, looking for Baker again. Knights was the leader and Baker takes it. A sensational mark by Phil Baker. And next week's grand final sees Collingwood in their first grand final since 1970 and North Melbourne playing their fourth in succession. 
Well, that's recent history, but uh, over the years, Collingwood have won 13 premierships, which is the most in the VFL, and North Melbourne, of course, have only won that one two years ago in 1975. So next week, it's going to be the battle of the vertical stripes, the blue and white, and the black and white. Well, in our grand final edition next week, apart from uh, looking further at the goal of the year and the mark of the year, we're going to be picking the winner's football team for 1977. And it's going to be judged on the value of players, uh, the most useful player in each position, and of course there'll be no club restrictions. That's the winner's football team next week in our grand final edition. So we'll hope you join us next week for our final program for the season. We leave you on the goal of the day, and it's Stephen Ick, who wasn't as dominant uh, on Saturday as he was last week, but look at this snap for goal. Burn again. More late on the scene, very late. Tanner's by himself at centre-half forward. That's his target. Oh, not quite. Still battling hard. Gets it out to Blight. Cable, back to uh, Burn again. The Hawthorne defence under tons of trouble here. Ick over his head and he's got it. match it's been particularly this last quarter into the goal square big pack of players to come with Mark Thompson no done oh, well coming through Ireland to Manassa back with Dench leading in the race for the ball and Mark's on his chest bursts away Drives North Melbourne towards goal. Through for a goal for North Melbourne from David Dench to pull back. Geez, the markings for that uh, 1500 metres race is a bit bloody confusing. Well, that much good, though. Yeah. Collingwood skipper, a poor kick, and Sutton keeping his eye on the ball, judges the flight of the ball beautifully. And this 15-metre penalty through foolish football by Rene King. It's not taken advantage of. Out to Byrne. Byrne across to David Dench. Dench, a very long hand pass to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush is going to kick, take the kick. A good 50-metre one down to the first time. The big attack. Baker's the leaper. In front, nicely taken by Ireland. Ireland's kicked down towards the centre of the ground and Dench is there to Owls. Owls will kick a long one. He'll go for the run. He's in trouble, but gets his kick. And boots it downfield. Baker! Beautifully done. Down to the pocket. Baker again in front. Spills the mark. Long way out from goal. Hooks it upfield. And another North Melbourne mark to Casson. Plays on quickly. Backward to Cable, who marks right in front of goals and only about 25 to 30 metres out. 
Good combination between the two North Rovers. And Barry Cable, who was in brilliant form in the preliminary final, but down last week. Chance for the first goal of the match. Good kick. First goal to North Melbourne. And they're one goal one, leading Collingwood yet to score after two and a half minutes. Vanessa Luce. Now Shaw. Deep on the half forward line. Pink. Montgomery closing in. Pink breaks the tackle. No, he doesn't. Across to Barham. Oh, desperation. Close to the boundary line. Hand pass by Montgomery. It breaks back and it's out of bounds in Collingwood's right forward pocket. Montgomery played a superb game so far. Across the half back line. Looking for Brightus. Max Richardson. Punched away by Brightus. Out to Hyde. Cable. There's Tanner. Croswell leads a bad pass. Hick chips in, lines up on his left boot. Oh, Bright, it's an easy one. North Melbourne's third goal. The bounce by umpire Robinson. Thompson gets a lot of attention. Picked out of the pack by Bright, and he's put it through. And Thompson says to umpire Robinson, what about the infringement? Worthington. Grandstand halfback flank. Thompson and Keenan. Blight from the back. Beauty. Well, a disappointing play last week, but Malcolm Blight is starring today. Fifth kick for Malcolm Blight. Right into the teeth of goals. Croswell on the goal line. Off hands. Still a chance for North. Baker soccer's through and has put it through for a goal. Two goals to Phil Baker. And how he got it through that pack, I don't know. Magro, 55 metres out from goal. Into the pocket it goes. Moore is there. And he takes it. First mark. Eyes on the ball all the way. Peter Moore. It's almost quarter time. Right through the centre. Collingwood's third goal. But they still trail. North Melbourne 35, Collingwood 21 after 29 minutes in the first quarter. Right. Hand pass out to Dench. Into the pocket, looking for Baker and Croswell again. Not quite. Max Richardson. Out to Magro, but Tanner will be late, or Dench will be late on the scene, and takes it. Manasseh. Looking for more. Not quite. Barham. Still in play. Gumbledon pushing the back. Barham's free <coughs> kick. Well, Collingwood made that look harder than it seemed. Why Wearmouth, the hand pass to Manastra, I'll never know, because Wearmouth, Manastra was facing Wearmouth and wasn't even moving when he took that hand pass. Well, this is the impossible angle, but Barham's got a peculiar sense of uh, kicking these goals. Only 15 metres out, and he set the post. Frank Gumbledon. <clears throat> Cowton. Oh, look at Blight. Oh, a soaring spectacular. Pick and plays on, out wide to Anderson. Anderson pursued by Casson. Anderson's left foot downfield, straight to Wearmouth like a bullet. If it was meant, it was miraculous. I don't think it was meant. Anderson with his left foot, it went like an absolute bullet into Wearmouth's chest. He shoots for goal, high in the air, and puts it through. Well, North Melbourne have had all the play, and Collingwood advance and get that goal. Carton's not looking 100% fit at the moment. Throws the ball out to Shaw. Shaw, a high kick. Peter Moore in this one. Couldn't take the mark. Henshaw at the back. Left foot clearing kick by Henshaw to half-back. Wayne Richardson there, and again, Blight comes over the top of the pack to take his fourth mark. Max Richardson. Worthington. 
Manasseh. Wayne Richardson, a great mark. Superb mark on the wing. Keenan. Carton upfield. Oh, bad handball. Bounces luckily for Malcolm Blight. Schimmelbush inside. Straightens up. Great football by North. Inside half forward already, but Max Richardson's there. Drops it. Baker a chance. It spills to Byrne. Only 30 metres out to Brightus. Right in front. And Brightus' kick bounces through for a point. Gary Cowton. The boy from Benalla. Downfield it goes. Ick has got the hands there first. Robert Heights in the centre of it. Here comes Brightus. A lot of trouble. Great hand pass to Tanner. Tanner 25 metres out. And bangs it through. Baker and Thompson. Baker uh, stages for one. May have got a bit of a push. Pick and I thought may have too. Picked up by Casson. And he slams it in for another goal. Yes. The umpire. Downfield where Keenan in position. If he can uh, judge it, he doesn't. Taken by Anderson. One out again down there. Gumbledon in front position. Moore got there first. Great football, Sutton. Taken away from him nicely by Kink. And Kink, a left foot shot for goal. Just misses. Back this time by Magro. Shot for goal by Magro. Across the goal square. At the back, done. Second grab. Twiggy Dunn has paid the, been paid the mark. Elves. Beautiful kicking towards half forward. Worthington from behind. Thompson's got a rove to it. Out to Ireland. Now he can run right through the centre circle. He goes past Blight to Wearmouth. Out to Barham. Out to Shaw. No, oh, they've done too much. Barham plays on. In towards Dunn again. No, not this time. A push. Far out, I think, to score it. A good long one. It'll be close. Very close. Right on the line. Through. Just squeezed through. Brett. Dunn taps down cleverly to Kink. Moore and Gumbleton. They have to double back. Here's Manassa. Oh, he missed it. Uncontested. Over the top of Magro. There wasn't much of a contest there. Keenan's kick. Max Richardson and over the back of it. Beautiful mark by Brightus. Keenan beaten on that occasion. Carton taps in field. Burn. Burns kick to centre half forward, bouncing free, Hyde off his chest, Croswell. And now um, Burn again, short pass down to the pocket. And there's a mark to North Melbourne to Brightus, who's all over the ground. Brightus in the forward pocket. Third mark to Arnold Brightus. He's kicked two goals. And really looking at this one. No movement from the goal umpire. Another goal to North Melbourne. And the margin is back to 11 points. Alves. And the free kick goes to Stan Alves. Well, Max Richardson. Cable. Or rather, Cassin. Brightus unmarked. Players all over the ground. Nobody uh, marking their opponents. Ick. Kick for goal by Ick is a beauty. A goal. Worthington decides he's going to gain 20 metres as he taps it on his foot and kicks it to himself and then kicks it down in the Gordon direction. Up goes Calton. Gordon's in perfect position. Hits it to Dunn. Dunn loses it but goes to Manassa. Back to Gordon and a beautiful bounce. Gordon is around centre half forward and little cable following. Gordon shoots for goal and puts it through. That was a magnificent episode of football. And Magro, clever. Barham. Well played to Manasseh. He dodges the clip around the ears. Wearmouth at half forward. Moore in the goal square. Good pass by Wearmouth to Kink in the pocket. Flight. Casson goes past. North out of trouble. Centre wing already. Alves. Spearing pass by Alves to Brightus at half forward. Gee, Brightus has had a great quarter. Baker in the goal square with Worthington. Six kicks in the quarter for Brightus. Off hands. Ick, snap for goal. Touched as Touch. the umpire. Beautifully to Cable. Almost like a kick to Henshaw. Into Brightus. And the Collingwood defence, which has been their strength all year. I've never seen it beaten so easily and badly as it has been 
in the past two weeks. Baker, falls over. A chance for Casson. Back to Baker. No, on to Blight. And a shocker. One goal, two to Malcolm Blight. Forward. Brightus backs into it again. And at the back, Burn. In the pocket. Steadies. Lines up. And kicks a goal. He's got no support as Alves beats him. And Alves is off down the field with another perfect Alves kick. He is the best deliverer of the ball on the ground, is Stanley Alves. Finds Ick and Ick to Brightus now. Nobody with Brightus and Brightus takes them up. The Collingwood defence very, very loose. But Alves, a dominating foot passer. Each time he's got the ball, he's speared it to somebody. Now, here comes Brightus. A difficult angle, 45 degrees. And about 40 metres. And it's through. It swung back and went straight through the centre. And Brightus has kicked four goals. There's Cable. Support from Schimmelbush. There's been support for North Melbourne players all day. Casson knew Hyde was there and tapped it on towards Brightus. Tanner. Schimmelbush. Open goal. And this will be six goals. Robert Hyde, uh, Shane Bond to take it. Long kick by Bond to the centre of the ground. Spoiled from the back by Gumbleton. Here's Gordon for Collingwood. They need a barrage of goals to get back into it. Gordon doing it on his own. Lines them up and has kicked a goal. Great goal by Wayne Gordon. A chance for Collingwood through Bond. Brilliantly done, Bond. Lost it. Cable lost it. Picked up and hand passed in a flash out wide. And a long kick downfield Ireland. by Picken or Ireland. And it's through. Taken away. And the kick is a bad one out wide there by Perry. Here comes the speed of Barham. Barham's left footer goes downfield to Dunn and, it's t and it goes back to him. In a flash, it's back to Bond. Bond, the runner, the left-hand bouncer. And nobody can catch him. There's only Keenan near him. A huge run downfield. And Peter Moore's in position. Defensive side of the centre. Up to half forward it goes. Hyde in front. Quick, nearly, or oh, nearly uh, unlucky to be, not to be played that. Gordon across the shore. He'll go for a long one. Eventually he will. Looking for more, he'll come from behind! At the end of two grand finals, Worthington's kick. Gordon, a huge leap! Not paid. Kink, flights there. And Magro, Gordon taps upfield for Manassa. It's open for Collingwood now. Manassa gets around his man brilliantly. Nettle fold. Manasseh still going, the gap closed now, still going Manasseh, he's taken it from half-back, he lines them up, and has kicked a great goal! 